This is Green Leaf with the Gold Loot Speed Run. Gonna fire up the intro scene. It's pretty badass. And smoke that chronic if you have it. This is where I smoke a bowl. Fucking, I would smoke a bowl with you, but I, it's just a you know video upload. So we'll fire up that bowl. Let's go, little Pikachu! Rate that Jigglypuff! Rate him so hard! Mm. Alright, right into the action here with the Gold Loot Speedrun. I'm liking frame number 7, so we're gonna go, we're gonna roll with frame number 7 there. Um, it is 10 o'clock here. We are wide awake and ready to go. Professor L, or Professor Oak here is going to let's talk about the history of Pokemon. Where the fuck? Um, basically, I need to fucking have good starting stats if I want this to work. If it's going to be a successful run, I need to have good starting stats. To, you know, if this is going to work. So. I'm going to name him G for gold, uh, abbreviated for gold there, for G, and you want one character letter names because uh, the more text that comes up throughout, you know, the, you know, you want, if one character le uh, letter is going to come up a lot faster than a seven character letter, or a three or four letter character letter name, it's just a lot faster to have that. Your mom's going to cock block you there, give you the pokey gear, you got to make her happy, let her know it's Sunday. And yeah, roll on and say no to that. The day late saving that saves about a few couple seconds there. Uh, say yes at the end there to that. And then fucking um, finally, your mom leaves you alone. You can head on out and head on over to the Professor Elm's lab. You're gonna fucking, uh, he's gonna give you a lecture to go with it. Yeah, after that, you can find that you can grab your starter. You're starting Pokemon here in, in the second generation. Uh, silver, gold, and crystal. Fucking a Totodile is by far the fastest to have the best starter. Because he will speed things up for you. And we're going to name him L for loot. So you got the GL gold loot speedrun. And fucking um, Professor Elm will give you his phone number. And fi um, after that, we can finally check the stats here to see, you know, if this is go or not. Eleven, twelve, ten, eleven, nine. Uh, well, his his assistant's gonna stop you on the way out and give you a potion there. But uh, let me uh, let me uh, sum up my stats there. Every, uh, special defense was 11 there, and that's what I want, that's what I need. Special attack was 10, that's the best special attack that you're going to get is 10. Um, pretty low for the, I mean, it's that's as high as it gets in the second generation for some reason. Um, I, defense was 12, I'm pretty sure. Which is great, but attack was 11 there, and that's fairly low, and you want... 12 attack, or it gets up to 13 as well, 13 is the max attack, the reason why attack is so low I can see now is, uh, Totodile was a female, and the females are always, the, so for some uh, reason the females are just have lower attack, but they usually have good special, the special is great, the special is good to go, but uh, the fucking attack was 11 with her. This is the fucking route you want to take. You're going to run into some encounters. It's going to happen. There's nothing you can do about the encounters early on because you can't get fucking um, repelled. There was a fucking can't escape, which fucking is a bitch, but it happens to you, I guess. <laughs> fucking another second of my life wasted, but uh, fucking if you can't get through this... Finally, without these encounters, you want to go on this bottom lane here, because the top lane, the old man's in the way. 
the least amount of times you change directions, the faster it's going to be, and uh, you want to continue going the same way, and um, it basically is going to take you like a second or two to change directions, and that's going to take up some time as well. You want to take up the, f the least amount of tiles that it takes to travel from location to location, so, I mean, like you'll see here, I, I don't fucking, um, you know, I, I try to take the fastest way possible without changing directions and go, going the fastest route, and here we got another encounter, hopefully that's it, and you see that, you see how I, it took a second or two there to change directions, but that's what's going to um, take a, a bit of time sometimes, is getting your direction in the right way you want it to go, but I mean after that you just continue forward and go straight on and head down your path. And, Fucking, um, Professor Elm there. You gotta give him the mystery egg. Professor Oak is in here. He's gonna talk to you for a quite a bit amount of time. This is a very long event. It's kind of unnecessary. I mean, you do get the pokey decks at the end of this text scene, but it's very long, very fucking, um... Yeah, he's catching up about all the shit in the first generation, I guess. But, and he's got the latest version of the Pokédex. He wanted to give him these high-tech shit. And finally, he'll leave. You, he'll leave and say goodbye to Professor Oak and then his assistant, whoever the fuck is it with the black hat here, will force you to rest here. And then you can finally leave. But then you get the phone call from Professor Elm. Who calls you to tell you to get your fucking ass back to the lab? It's time to get your fucking ass back to the lab right now. Hey, show me that mystery egg. And so, we fucking carry on. We get another fucking encounter here. And uh, finally, we fucking make it here. And you want to go to the left here because there's no grass and as well, and you can get the berry here. And money is very tight in this game, especially early game. And you're going to need as much money as you can to buy the shit that you need. So that berry is going to be useful, and that's why you want to go out the way to grab that. And then you finally get to your rival battle here, and you know. There's two different strategies to go about this. You can fight wild Pokemon until you get to level fuck um, seven and come in le with level seven rage and use that here, or you can fucking use my tactic, which is four to five leers. Uh, let those leers fly off. Espe I mean, especially when my attack was eleven there. I know that my fucking scratch is gonna be shit. So I'm gonna have to get those leers in if I'm gonna want to get. And you want to do it first thing off because that'll make all your scratches that you use quite effective. And uh, he got a growl in, so I'm gonna use an extra leer here. That's why I'm doing that. And I'm gonna finally flip on over to scratch, and it's fucking eleven attack as shit. This should be a three hit kill. It looks like a three hit kill. So, you know, it feels like a three-hit kill. It should be a three-hit kill. It is, and that's why I got those five leers in, in it. So five leers to three ta three scratches. It's. I mean, I've I've had a lot, but I've had um, you know, since my attack was eleven, that's why I, I needed five uh, leers there. But I've had um, I've seen it where I've gotten four leers in and two scratches, so six moves, and I had I deployed nine. I've deployed eight attacks there, so it is an eight. I, it took me eight attacks to get that um, Shikarita, and I, I've had it be you know five or six. I've had him killed in five or six attacks, but it's I mean it's fairly average. It's a great battle. We fucking head on into Professor Elm's lab again for the second time, and here's a cop. There's a police officer. Asking questions, he wants to know what the name of the fucking guy is. You tell him it's question. It was a mysterious character. 
So we will name him question mark. And then uh, you show the mysterious egg to fucking uh, Professor Elm. He flips out and then he tells you, now it is time for you to become a champion. You need to fucking get your ass out there and uh, collect the badges. So get your ass to Violet City, he basically says. So I mean, that's what I would love to do, but if you would fucking stop talking. But. Right here, this assistant on the second trip is a lot more helpful. He gives you five uh, Pokeballs, which that's all the Pokeballs that you're going to be needing if you're doing a speed run. You're only going to need those five Pokeballs there. And here you're going to get stopped by uh, a crackhead who asks you to watch him catch a Pokemon, which you want to say no to drugs there, continue forward. I mean, who the fuck wants to watch it? someone catches, you know, slowly catch a Pokeball, like, what the fuck, all you have to do is select Pokeball and push A, I mean, how the fuck, how hard is that, I mean, who needs a fucking tutorial for that shit, anyway, we fucking, um, head on forward, we're gonna, you know, hopefully we get not too many encounters here, oh, that was excellent, we got past that patch of grass, and now we're going down the second patch here, We've got an encounter. Gonna run away from all these wild Pokemon because they don't give you very much experience. You get a lot more experience from training battle. I fucking hit the last patch of grass there on the way out. We're gonna have to fucking um, run away from this battle as well. And now we finally uh, made it to Cherry Grove City. And now we can head up. And now the the path has been opened up to head to the left and go to Violet City, which is where the first gym leader is. But here we went to another encounter here. We're gonna run away. And run away from all those encounters. Now fucking nut hit the last patch across there as well. We're gonna have to run away from this one as well. You know, there's, there's no fucking steady pattern to the mechanics. It's just absolutely random, like, what battles you're going to run, like, what patch of grass is going to trigger a wild battle. Here we have our first official trainer battle. And you should be able to get a two-hit scratch KO for this Pidgey here, even with 11, if, even with 11 attack, you'll still be, you should still be getting a two-hit KO. You take out that Pidgey there. And, uh, we have a Rattata level 4 that, I, I think I used Leer there, that's fine. Um, he's probably, he might have took an even 4 scratch, which, with, 11 attack, we're on the fucking ropes here. So I might have saved the scratch, or fucking whatever. You take out the level 4 Rattata, level up to 7, now we get Rage, which is very, it's hell, that's an extremely helpful move. So we got Rage, we head on up and pass around this train, and then we have our first spinner here, and we got past the spinner, Ex excellent, excellent, we got past the first spinner, bug catcher Don, your mom's gonna call you here, ask to save money, say no there, because um, you're not gonna have enough money to buy all the things you need if you say, if your mom's taking interest in all your battles, so, I'm gonna say no to that, that definitely helps there, Run away from all the wild battles. Head on up. To go to the left. And then you want to hop down the ledge. Skip the trainer there and go up here. Um, my strategy would be to go to the Mart as opposed to the Pokemon Center. You know, you could either go to the Pokemon Center Hilo and then go to Falconer. Or you could go this way and go to the mark, go a little bit out of the way to go to the mark, so that you can get a couple potions. 
It's all, I mean, that's really all you need. You need maybe two to three. You might want three potions, but you're going to need a potion. You, you need the extra potions to get through this. And so we're going to use one of them. Even I mean, even though it's only five HP, that I need I need it because <clears throat> this sparrow is a fucking beast. And so here comes level 9 Spiro. This is probably the biggest threat of the early run. But he gets that he gets it in right away. And now range will start building. Um I'm fucking this is ridiculous. Uh, I'm gonna have to use a potion here. Because he's gonna kill me next time. He, 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 do, he does six damage, I mean. If I had 25 health, we'd be good to go, but fucking, um, some shitty stats to start out with. <laughs> and two scratches here, he gets another peck in, which was seven damage that time. You know, you, you, attacks are based on a range, you know, his, his is probably five to eight or something, like six to se uh, six to eight maybe is what his attack range was. Maybe it was only six or seven, but... Get another potion in here, and we're, we're gonna go ahead and equip the berry now. That was not a great battle with Sparrow, but I mean, it was. It, we got past him, and now we are on the second trainer battle in the first gym before getting the Falconer, and we're gonna rage through this. He's got two level seven Pidgeys. The rage should get it done. So I'm gonna build up that rage. And that's what's gonna get it done for us here. I take out this one here. Rage is building again. This could be a one hit kill. For the, the second level 7 Pidgey, because I did level up and I, my rage is fairly high at this point. But he survived by, by a tab. And he's going to make me use my berry. And we do finally get him. And I didn't, get to, I didn't make it to level 10 there either. But now we fucking finally make it to Falconer, the first gym battle here, the first... This is going to be our first badge if we can beat him. Um, I don't have any more restoration items, my berry was used up in the last battle. So it's... All fucking out on this one. Um... You want to build up as much rage as possible on that first Pidgey. His tackles are only... He got a critical in there, which kind of scares me a little bit. Because um, my health is fairly low, and we got a Pidgeotto to take out here. But if we can take out this Pidgeotto, we'll be good. I mean, I, I think I'll be able to make it throughout the rest of the run. There's a few other things that can go wrong, but... Uh, it should be a two-hit kill here. He's gonna get Gustin again. I'm gonna survive it by one H one HP. So balls to the walls there. He took out Falcon with that, you know, uh, on the spot. And he's he's gonna give you the fucking first badge, the Zypher badge. So I mean. That was okay, you know, I, I'm in good condition, I mean, the first battle with Sparrow wasn't excellent, but I got through it, and I'm happy with the outcome there, and there you get Mud, you're probably going to want to sell Mud Slap in the next town to get all the items you're going to need, but we'll get into that later, you're going to leave here, you're going to get a phone call, and he says to go to the Pokemon Center here to talk to his assistant. So that's what you're going to want to do right away. And just go straight to the Pokemon Center. And then, you know, since 
you're already inside the pot, you know, since you're already in there, you might as well get the heal in as well. You know, especially since my ranges were low for one. Uh, I had like, you know, very, very low. I had like three or four HP there. So might as well get that heal in, and then right next to there, you can talk to his the assistant. If he's going to give you the Pokemon egg, and... Uh, basically, you want to deposit the egg right away, right when you get it. Now, because if you keep it, then later on it'll hatch. And when the egg hatches, it'll take um, time to watch the animation there, and it's faster just to deposit the egg here. But now we finally um, are ready to continue our journey. And we go down, and there's a, there's a paralyzed cure there, I think, Barry there, but I'm, I'm going to skip it. I don't think I need it. And that guy there, he you can get past him now that we have gotten the Pokemon egg, and there's an encounter on the way down, a, Ma a Mary appear. going to run away. And here's our, another trainer battle that you have to fight here. He's got, uh, he's got, um, Ratatata with Zubat. He, he spams a fucking Tail Whip a lot. But he did happen to use Rage. It would have been better for me to use Rage. But I did get a two-hit scratch there, which was fine. And Zubat could be a three-hit kill, probably. Supersonic Mist, excellent. He, he got me this with the second one. And I'm hurt by confusion. Uh, hopefully this one will get, yes. This one should kill him. That's about, that's fair. That's about how your battles are going to go there. Let's take out Youngster Albert. And then continue down what you want to go to the right down the... What, it takes a little bit longer to skip down the ledge. It's a little bit faster to go, you know, on the playing grounds as opposed to hopping down ledges. It takes a bit. And you want to go down the left, the far left side there, because there's a trainer in the, in the nearest lane, and you don't want to fight him. We're going to run away from this Ratatata. Here we have another spinner, and he goes in a rotation, so he's easy, he's easy to get past. I have, no, I have no problem with that spinner there. Now we, now we are in the cave. What I need to have happen here is I need to catch a sand true. So, at some point inside this cave, I need to end up with a sand true. So hopefully we can get past the spinner here. He's got an onyx. You definitely want to take the time to make sure you get past him. Because without water gun, onyx is going to be a fucking bitch. So wait till he fucking turns away. If he ever decides to. Turn, motherfucker, turn. I, that was quite strange, but I did get past him. I'm not sure what triggers their shit, but I fucking I, I luck past him. He has he has an onyx which you do not want to fucking encounter. You don't want to fucking run into that spinner that I got past. So I'm I'm fine with that. I'm fine with how things are going. For this hiker here, we do not have water gun yet. Um, you might want to have a little bit of extra experience coming into this to have water gun. If not, Rage is going to be what you're going to need to use. And with, with low attack, it's going to be quite the bitch here, but... Um, fucking, this needs to happen, and after this fight, then we'll learn Water Gun, and then we'll be good, but... Uh, this fight's going to be quite a problem, but... Let that Rage build on up, it'll... You know, it'll start making a difference, it'll start fucking them up after... Four to five tackles about. 
Or you need that you need to build up some more. He he's got a level four Geodude, level six Geodude, then a level eight Geodude, so it's four, six, eight. And the whole point of using range here to get through all this is because we don't want to fight um, wild Pokemon and we want to just go straight on into it. And that's why we have we are raging this bitch here. Hopefully this next rage takes him out. No. Not quite. But finally, that Geodude's gone. And we level up to get learn water gun. Yeah, my special's a lot better than my 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 attack's pretty low, so water gun's gonna be quite effective here. Uh, here's another spinner here. We're gonna try to get past his ass, but he's kind of sporadic. He, he he moves around randomly. There's no fucking um, pattern to him. Hopefully we get past him here. Fuck me. He got me. He got me hard. I, I fucking went down there. I like made it look really shitty. Uh, he's a fire breather. He's got uh, coughing and... I think the experience isn't bad here. I think um, you want to have fucking um, the next level um, going into Bugsy. You want to have the next evolution. You want to have Krokona. So I mean, the experience here is nice, actually. You know, it's kind of a waste. It's pretty, it's a big waste of time. But that was a nice critical hit to take his ass out. We level on up to 14. Uh, take out the fight. He wasn't too bad. It, you don't want to. I mean, you don't want to waste the time there. But also, the the experience is nice if you do. If you do run into the spinners, the experience is always nice. And here's that sand shrew. Fucking excellent. Um, I'm gonna capture him and get two scratches in. So one, two. Fuck me hard, you fucking piece of shit. Fucking critical hit there. Cause now, I mean, now I'm gonna have to fucking wander around until I do run into another Sandshrew, which is kind of, that's irritating. Knowing, I mean, having that Sandshrew pop up there and knowing that now I have to fucking run around for nothing. But you need a fucking Sandshrew, it needs to happen, and that's why, I mean, fuck it, we're gonna take the extra time to get the Sandshrew. Take out this Vulpix with Scratch, so that the super effective text box doesn't show up. And... Now we have to go up and down, and up and down, and up and down, until Sancho appears. There's a Ratatata, a waste of my time. You know, seconds of my life being wasted. But we need that sand true. There's an onyx. Um, I don't think onyx can learn cut, so that's not going to help me. Not going to help me there. I want. I need that fucking sand true, man. Waste my time all day. Here's a sand true. Fuck me. Such a fucking waste. Because I ran into a fucking Sandshrew and killed it with a crit on that, but I needed to weaken it into the red to make the Pokeball. I, want, I don't want to waste too many Pokeballs, that's why I try to hit him with two scratches there. And finally, Sandshrew appears. I uh, wait, I think that was plus two minutes there. Or plus three minutes there. Do not critical hit. Okay. <sighs> fucking show fucking get get in the ball. Be a good little slave, HM slave bitch, and get in the ball. So, I mean a plus a couple minutes there catching the sand true, but I'm gonna roll. And now here's another spinner. 
fucking got past him. Not a problem there. I fucking wasted a tile there. Fuck me. You wanna go, when you get to here, you go talk to, the first thing you need to do is talk to Kurt. And he'll um, move the, he'll get the rocket member out of the way of the cave, so you can go into the cave now. And I, I need a various amount of items for Bugsy and for the cave, so we're gonna need to go into the Mart. I need fucking like five super potions here. And then the next thing I want is four antidotes, four paralyzed heals. And we're gonna have to go back into the fucking mart so that I can buy escape ropes and escape ropes, awakenings, and repels when I go back in there the second time. And I'm probably gonna have to sell a mud slap to get the money for that, but I need I need the money from these trainer battles and the battle with Bugsy to get all that money that I'm gonna need for the second Pokemon trip here. Fucking excellent, I'm fucking dumbass walking in there with 4 HP and you fucking waste some shit there and I think rage is removed here and <sighs> fucking shit. I'm gonna to fuck fuck. He's got like two uh, tail whips in, and now I'm fucking shit and fuck. Uh, I used up a super. I, I'm gonna fuck. I need to manage those super potions because I'm not gonna buy any more, and it's gonna be quite the trick to handle this now. Uh, so two water guns for each of the wa the ratatatas looks like a sure bet there. That would probably be because my special is good to go, but my attack is fucking low as shit. Can we talk to this bitch up here? She's got, um, like zoo bats or something. She's got, um, some shit. Send out a zoo bat. I'm gonna fucking go with water gun, because I know my special attack is better than fucking attack, so. Yep, yep, yep. Critical hit. That was sexy. Here's an Atkins. We're gonna see what Water Gun can handle. And muster up. Fucker. He didn't poison me. I'm not worried about it. He's right. He wrapped me though. Wrap is different in the. Wrap is different in the second generation. It's so much, so much easier to deal with in the second generation than the first. In the first generation, you would not be able to attack until Rap subdued. In the first, in the se in the second generation, Rap is just a like it'll it'll hurt you every turn, but you can still get your attacks in. So it's not Rap is not a cheap ass you know nigger rig move that it was in the first generation. I might be low on health here, but we're gonna go with those water guns. They are fucking working wonders here. His shit failed, that's good. It's music to my ears. Zoo bath there, with fucking water gun his ass. Didn't affect me, it's fucking, uh, I'm supervious to his bullshit. And uh, we're gonna get Crocodile after this battle, so. It's gonna it's gonna speed up the next battle with coughings and it's gonna make that easier. I think I can handle it without a super potion, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use my I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna go for it without super potion. I'm gonna take a risk here. He's got coughing. Water gun is definitely the most effective here. That's why you want a, at least 10 special attack for any run, no doubt. It did not affect me, I'm fucking shining bright. 
You got a tackle in there, and no problem for me. No problem with me. And now Kurt comes in and say, you know, he tries to act like he did something or some. Uh, he, Kurt comes in like, oh yeah, man, good job, fucking doing all the work, while I sit there and on my ass <laughs> and walk slowly towards you and shit and make and talk to you and waste more time. Now I'm gonna head right in, right on in to the gym and get in a potion, get in a super potion here. Never mind, never mind, I'm healed, I'm healed there. Fuck! You get a heal after that, so... Take note of that when doing speedruns, I fucking didn't know. Um, after you defeat the coughing, you heal entirely. So that's something... You'll be ready for the gym battle. You're gonna scratch through these bitches. Hopefully you don't kill it here. Yes, sir. Two hit scratch KO for me. There's uh, should be a two hit KO as well here. The tackle's not threatening there. Oh, you need to be level 18 for the uh, the second evolution. Unlike uh, the original, uh, you need level 18 to be fucking crocodile. Can get cock blocked there as well. Another trainer in the way to the second gym. This is a fucking competition run. I'm doing all eight badges. I'm doing all eight gyms. I'm gonna fucking defeat the Elite Four. We're gonna play the entire game without stopping, without any bullshit. This, this is a competitive run here in. That pear has poisoned me. I have four antidotes. That's why you get those antidotes before going into Bugsy because he will poison you. Probably, most likely, you're gonna get poisoned here. Um. Let's see here. Get that antidote in. Um. See if he, I think this next trainer is a spinner. You want to get past. Fucking shit, man. You want to get past that spinner? There's a spinner blocking the way to Bugsy there, and you fucking got me. And, um, I think Rage will be best here. So it, it, if you get caught up by this spinner here, you're going to want to Rage through. Fuck. Yeah, I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to fucking run into this bitch. Take out the Weedle there. Everything else should be two hit kill or whatnot. And you want Rage is also what you're going to be using to beat Bugsy as well. I really, I really wish I didn't run into this big. But the good news is uh, we're going to get some experience here, getting closer to fucking um, Crocodile. I might this Beedrill might level me up. To to Crocodile, and that will really help with uh, Bugsy. So that'll, that'll make it so that Scyther is not as big as a threat. So there's, there's good news to it, but there's also, I mean, a waste of time there. So, you know, get Crocodile here. I mean, this is a safer way to just go, to go through this and get Crocodile by fighting that, and so that you have it for Bugsy. So, because now. My stats are a lot better going into Bugsy, and I mean, I, w I would have fought it without it, but um, it's gonna help for this and make it so I probably won't fuck up here. I'm gonna go on another super potion because uh, Bugsy's quite, he's kind of a problem too. Here we are with the second gym battle. Fucking, we're gonna grab badge number two. Then we'll have six left to go, and I'm gonna do all of it. I'm gonna do all the whole entire game in one run with the commentary. You know, the commentary just to top it off and shit. I'm gonna rage through this bitch. He should. He should get some tack. He has tackle, so 
that will help your range, and that's why you're going to do this here. And you want that range to build up for the next two Pokemon. And he gets tackled in there. I uh, that's good that he gets another. That's actually good that that rage didn't kill him, and that's good that I got m built up more there because Scyther has some fucking shit. A Kakuna, this is another time for you to be building your rage. He's just gonna. He's, he's just gonna go down with two hits. I have three built up towards rage. Scyther can be a threat here, but with Croconaw, I'm really not sweating it, man. Croconaw should be able to fuck him around. Two-hit rage here. He, you know, those... He, Furry Cutter will eventually become effective, but he only got two in there. It's not a threat, and... There goes Bugsy. Um, what I'm gonna do next here... Fucking head back into the Mart. I'm gonna go back into the Pokemon. Get a few things. I think I might even buy one potion just to use one potion before the battle. It, we're gonna do some shit here. I'm gonna sell Mud Slap for sure. That'll be the first thing I do probably sell Mud Slap. And I'm gonna need four escape ropes. And that's the primary thing, as well as the repels is the next biggest thing, is make sure that I have those repels. So we're going to sell Mud Slap, I don't want that. And we're going to buy one potion. We're going to buy four of these. We'll make sure you have six of these. And then I want fucking, um, ah, fuck. Maybe one more super potion in case. But that's all I want there. And then here's what I'm going to have to fucking, um, teach Fern Cutter for this rival battle coming up. And we're going to delete Mirror. And then I'm going to use the potion so that we're good to go for the battle. Now, I didn't want to waste a super potion here. That's why I just went ahead and just bought it. You know, while, while I'm going into the mart, why not just go ahead and buy a fucking uh, potion there so I don't waste a super potion down the road. So here we go. The second uh, rival battle. This one's challenging a little bit challenging and I'm gonna send out Ghastly and we're gonna water gun pump on water guns through him. So one there and another one coming up. And then he's he's gonna send out fucking a bay leaf right the second he's gonna send out bay leaf and you need a furry cutter through his ass. So there's one um you're gonna get rays relieved. It's gonna hurt like hell. And then here comes the third furry cutter. Oh, this should kill it. Yes, it did. Is that? I mean, otherwise I would have died. I'm I'm already on the fucking ropes. You need you need Crocodile for this second rival battle as well. Are we gonna fucking see what that does? Just gonna, I'm gonna use a super potion just in case that the scratch doesn't work. I'm kinda... I don't wanna lose my run at this point. It's... Cause I mean, I, we're, we're, we're into the... Into it, see, I, would, I wouldn't have killed it and he would've killed me there and... I would've fucking lost the entire run. But we got that... He, this supersonic wasn't a, too much of a threat. I'm not worried here. And... Now we continue the journey after that rival battle. It wasn't too bad of a rival battle. It went well. <clears throat> and then you head on to the left here and use one of those repels. Use the first repel. That's all you gotta do that and now 
This is the Lost Woods or something. I think it's Lost Woods. You gotta fucking uh, navigate this sparrow back to the far fetched back to this owner. You need to go around this way. You need to go around this way. And then meet back up with it after you've hit it. And then it, it'll go down back. To, that's what you have to do in order to get it to fucking go back. And then it'll bounce up against the wall. You'll fucking your repel is gonna wear off about right here. Uh, you're gonna want to take those extra steps. Fuck! I did hit the encounter. So a lot of times I will not hit the encounter, but the reason why is because you're gonna open up your menu again and use repel and teach cut at the same time, and that's why you need to have a few steps there w without repel. I did run into the counter. It's not, you're not, you kind of suck there, but it's not too big a problem. So now we teach cut right away. To, uh, that was sand true there. And then deploy that second repel there. Now, in the second generation, you don't have to open up the menu to use all your HM, so you can just push A, which is a lot, it's a lot more convenient, and it's a lot faster, I think, and it's a great, um, feature to the second generation is just being able to push A to get your HMs in. And you want to go around here to go out of the way to get Headbutt, because Headbutt is a very great move, it's gonna... I mean, that, compare headbutt to scratch, and you'll just know why you fucking you need that fucking move. So you're gonna need to go all the way to get it. And the repel's gonna wear off again. You're gonna fucking get that repel. You're gonna use a third one. And we are rolling on. So, the run is going excellent so far. Um, you're gonna get to this part here, you're gonna need to go just like that, in through the grass, because that trainer there will catch up to you if you don't go through the grass. And that's why you need the repel. Repel's gonna just perfectly wear off right there after we don't need it anymore. And you're gonna need to go get the bike, is the first thing we need to do here. So once we get to Golden Rod City, we head right on into the bike shop. You want to go just like that to get the bicycle. And then we're going to have to register that. And fucking uh, teach headbutt now. And we're going to delete water gun for it. Delete water gun for headbutt. And then you're going to want to register that bicycle. That's the second thing you got to do there. Then now you can just hit select and it'll push you on the bike every time. So that's an ex that's also an excellent feature that was added into there. Wasted a space there. Feel like shit, but... <clears throat> Here is Whitney. This is another uh, threat to the speed run because she has milk tank which has fucking rollout and some shit. So we, we gotta fight a bitch with rollout and shit. Um, this one right here, you wanna headbutt through this, you might get the flinch, which is another reason why headbutt is a devastating fucking move. You got headbutt ready to roll. Uh, flinched him once, not twice, and he got a lick in, nothing scary. Head on up. We go just like that to Whitney. And now, the third gym battle of our single segment competition run here. This is, I'm fucking talking and playing at the same time. This is a fucking play-by-play play fucking commentary here. Uh, you get Clefairy first, and you want to rage, you want to build rage with her. I 
fucking think that I only had like four rages there. That's gonna be a bitch. Um. I mean, we'll use range as much as I can, but you want to have like seven rages come to I'm fucked for that. Because all, only one rage is going to hit the fucking milk tank, and then I'm going to have to switch over to fucking water guns or some shit. So I'm going to switch on over to headbutt, and use that. He missed, he missed both of his first rollouts. That's, that's a trip. And stop my ass. It is time for a super potion here. And stop my ass again. And get the. I mean, I'm kind of fucked here, but it, it worked out to where I'm gonna. I'm still gonna get the win, and that's all I was really looking for. His rollouts will eventually uh, get to the point where he can one one hit KO you with rollout if he's been building that up, but. He stomped and what he missed the first couple rollouts. He's not really. He's, he didn't really threaten me too much. He's probably gonna get bite there. He's gonna teach that over scratch. And now he's defeated Whitney. She doesn't give you the badge right. She's a fucking bitch. She doesn't give you the badge right away. You gotta go down a space, have her talk to you, and say, "Oh, she's crying, so just go up there and she'll give you the badge." So you gotta talk to her again to get have her cough up the badge. And that's our third badge. We have three of eight there. Now we have, we're going to exit out of here and get the squirt bottle. After the squirt bottle, you want to go into the Pokemart there. And then I'm, I'm low on PPs and shit, so we're going we're to take the Pokemon Center trip here as well. So everything's going great so far. There's a few mistakes, but I mean, pretty flawless so far, I'd say. So we head on out. Get that squirt bottle next. Because once you have Whitney's badge, you can now get the squirt bottle. And it's right next to her gym. You can grab that. Because that's what's going to get you past the uh, pseudo-udo. And she says, la, 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 la. Roll on through. Now we head to the mart. Uh, I'm just going to take the elevator to the fifth floor. And you need to get ice punches up there. I think that's it. Yep. And then I have no fucking money at all, so we have to sell some shit. And it's, it's looking pretty fucking tight here. I, I'm not going to be able to get any X smooths <laughs> at all. We're going to have to get um, Pokey Dog here. And then you're going to want Awakenings here. Like, we'll take four, but... Um, since I don't have any of the X attacks, or I didn't have enough money for that shit, my plan is there's another area where you can buy the X moves, like X attacks, X speeds, and shit like that. I, I need to go to Pokemon Center here, too. <coughs> to get PPs and shit, and... Uh, this is fucking... It kind of sucks that I didn't have enough money for any of the fucking... X moves and I don't. It, your money is fucking tight as fuck in this game. You know, tight like a fucking virgin's vagina and shit. You want to get the fucking Kenya here? You get a fly. This is your Pokemon that knows fly. It's a stock Pokemon. You're gonna grab that. Now we have all the Pokemon that I'm gonna need besides Poliwag, which we get. I mean, Poliwag is pretty easy to catch as well. So <clears throat> you know, like it's not gonna be hard to get. It, it, it just it's just gonna be straight battles from here on out pretty much and just uh, just picking the right shit and now that we have the bicycle as well I mean that's gonna fucking make things a lot easier I'm gonna headbutt through this Vulpix here got it fucking almost one hit killed it's, it's because my attack was um, 11 at the beginning and not 12 if you have 12 attack 
Headbutt should be a one-hit kill there. But it was a two-hit I mean, whatever. We'll roll with it. The attack, I knew I knew attack was kind of low, you know, coming into this run. Then you're going to want to fight this one, then you have to leave and come back so that you can skip those two trainers below. But headbutt here. It should one hit kill. I mean, even with 11, my shitty attack, I still made it happen. And headbutt here. And fucking headbutt again. For the level 14 diglet. Alright, then after that fight got to go to the right and back down so that it resets his position head back up again and now we can go straight on through excellent there now you want to use a repel here fucking awesome there I passed those two spinners without you know dreading I, I could have stopped and waited for him but I just fucking went for it and it worked out perfectly I got past both of those spinners Excellent there, and here we got Vinonat. Uh, I'm gonna save some headbutts for the. I think there's like five or six uh, Kurami bitches, but whoever the fuck the bitches are. The thing with the bitches is you gotta get, you gotta fight all those bitches so you can get the surf. And that's gonna be surf is gonna be so fucking effective. Because my special was perfect, my special is as good as you can get it, and with that being said, I mean, Surf is going to be kick-ass. And here we get to the Pseudo Wudo, the squirt bottle there. He's going to fucking move around, you got to run away from this is the fastest thing to do here. And then we're hit heading up to the next town and into the fourth gym, so we're almost... We almost have half of the badges that we're gonna collect. And it doesn't, it gets... Uh, this, this could be, a, I have awakenings, so you, you need awakenings at this point because he's got hypno and he's gonna use, he's gonna use hypnosis on your ass. If he's got drowsy and he's, he's gonna hypnosis your ass. And if you fall asleep then he's got dream eater and it gets even worse from there. If you don't have awakenings, did not affect me. Headbutt a second time. This fucking shit is rolling. It's the gold loot fucking money speed run here. Fucking money there. Head right on in to the the Kamara whatever the bitch is here. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll pronounce it properly here. It's like a Kamari Kimini Kimono, Kimono Girls Kimono Girls There's like six Kimono Girls Beat all the Kimono Girls Then you get Surf Flinched his ass it's Excellent there Level on up Now yeah, see that attack was pretty You saw that attack's pretty low that's the only, only thing I'm really worried about is my attack being so low there. But I, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably make it work because I have enough strats and I have enough skills to fucking make this single segment speed run work. And headbutt this bitch. Fucking sand attacks. I hate sand attacks so much. I'm gonna bite through to save uh, the other headbutts, but fucking excellent there because I didn't miss with those two sand attacks in which happens a lot you miss you miss a lot with sand attacks and there's no missing there and the third kimono girl <coughs> fucking Umbreon is Umbreon's the biggest that in uh, Jolteon with thunders and shit Uh, we're gonna 
I'm not gonna use any more headbutts until fucking um, Jolteon. I'm gonna make sure that I get Jolteon. I, I gotta fu I gotta use one more because this is fucking ridiculous. But now another bite there should take him out, and I, I gotta save headbutts for Jolteon because Jolteon gets those stunners in. I get, you'll see why you're gonna need headbutts at the end here. But I think there's a Vaporeon. She's got a Vaporeon. I, I should be able to get a decent amount of bites and. Bites also flinch as well. So that's another thing Bite is good for. And that's we have a good move set at this point. So I'm gonna bite on ah oh fuck, it's gonna end. That's kinda devastating here. I rage might have been better for me. But we've already we've already fucking locked it up with bite. The reason, I mean, I'm gonna need those headbutts for Jolteon, and Jolteon has fucking thunder and shit, and that can potentially kill me with my like, two hits, so I'm gonna need to plow through Jolteon with the, the main remainder of my headbutts. Flinch his ass, pickers it, yep, fuck you, Vaporeon. Kinda, I mean, you want more headbutts coming into that to make that happen well, but... <clears throat> I'm not complaining. We're gonna fucking fight this Jolteon and get the headbutt. You're gonna flinch it right away. You're gonna flinch him. <laughs> oh, thunder shot. Um, we survived it. All right, that's what I was hoping for. As long as we survive it. And then, uh, and now we're gonna get a potion in. We're gonna teach ice punch and surf, and we're that's we're good to go. I mean, I've got all the moves that I'm gonna be using for the entire game until we get earthquake, which is not until we get all eight badges and get to the fucking um, victory road there. So I, I've got all the fucking moves I'm gonna be using. Throughout, I mean, besides the, the fucking um, HMs and shit, but here you're gonna wanna fucking heal on up. I got two super potions to go, and then we want ice punch uh, for rage. Ice punch instead of rage there, and then surf instead of furry cutter, of course. So teach surf as well. And we have the fucking moose that I was looking for: bite, surf. Fucking ice punch, fucking headbutt. It's rolling. Uh, I went to the right there because I thought I needed to go to the mark there for a second because I thought I didn't have awakenings, but I do have four awakenings, so we're good to go. And no sweat there. And for these ghastlies, it's you want to surf them all because that way the super effective text boxes don't pop up here. If you use bite, the super effective text box is going to come up. You can use bite to kill them as well, but uh, basically you want to use those bites for the uh, haunters and the fucking game guards because that'll flinch, that'll potentially flinch them, and that's what you want, when you want to use the bites. And the surfs are good here because it's a, you know you're going to get the one hit kills. And it's fucking, you don't have to see the super effective text boxes either, so it's a win-win there. And that's the fastest thing to do to get through this trainer here. Take his ass out. Fucking, he's got one last gas lead to bend over from my surf and take him out. And we head on up to the next trainer, which this this one has a uh, honor, and this one's got a, some shit. So you're gonna have to bite a couple times here. But fucking, I'm, I'm liking the way this fucking speed run is going. We, we're almost halfway through, really. We almost have four of eight of the badges, and 
I mean, it, there's, a, there's a few more dungeons left to navigate through, but the dungeons really, they really aren't too difficult. You see there, I served the second time, so that way I didn't have to see the super effective screen there as well. The bite there was, in case I got the flinch, if you get the flinch, clearly if they don't get their move in, it's going to be a lot faster. And he cursed himself to death, thank you. He fucking he killed himself there, that's the way to go. And now we have the third, there's four trainers here. In Morty's fourth gym, there's four trainers until you get to Morty. And Morty kind of scares me because I did not get an X speed. You want an X speed so that you're going to be faster than Gengar. I'm not going to be faster than Gengar. I did not get an X speed. We're in kind of trouble there. But we'll see how it goes. I've, I mean, the only thing that could happen is he hypnosis me, and but then I've got, I've got um, awakenings. To, just for backup there, so I am good to go, and besides the fact that I don't have that speed, which would make it so I get the first hits in every time, and I won't, I won't get the first hit in for fucking Gengar, He's, Gengar's gonna be faster than me, it's just, it, I don't have that fucking X speed. And, we're gonna fucking surf him. I'm pretty sure Surf will do it here. Now he's got a Haunter next. We're gonna bite him. Bites for the... Oh, we're running, we're running out of bites, motherfucker. See my shit? I got six Surfs and like three bites. This, this could be a close one. Come on, bitch. Kill him now. Now I'm pretty sure that was the fourth trainer. So we have we just have the gym battle left. Yep. And so I'm I'm hoping that I have enough PPs to take his ass out. Well I I ice ice punches will hit him up if anything, so I mean if it comes down to ice punches, I mean I will fuck him up that way too. And here we go. Here goes Ghastly. I'm gonna see if Surf kills him. We'll see. Yep. Bingo. Bingo there. Fucking. I rolled the Yahtzee there. And we have to delete Scary Move. Scary Move is fucking useless as fuck. As you can tell, it just doesn't do shit. I'm gonna bite this time. And didn't kill him. He flinched, so it didn't get a chance to do anything to me. And this is where I see the pro there could be a problem is with Gengar. Because I do not have the speed on him. But he didn't get me with the hypnosis. Did not fuck me there. We'll see if Surf does it here. Come on, bitch. Come on, kill him now. Kill him now. Yes, good Surf. So we took out Gengar, I mean, I, I, I'm doing pretty damn good without that, uh, fucking X speed. I fucking think this is pretty damn good. Oh, fuck, he, little bit, that little bitch. He better not get it on bite, too, because then I won't be able to kill him without ice burn. But he fucked, he, he made me waste a move because he, he used the PP thing on my surf. So he did fucking take up some time. But Morty, that's how you want the battle to go. It went excellent. Now we have four of eight of the badges in this single segment competition competitive run here. I'm going for the money here. This is, I mean, this is how you do it. I mean, you wouldn't be, you probably wouldn't be talking as much as I am. I'm trying to fucking explain some shit. I'm probably not even doing a good job of explaining shit, but I mean, for most people who play this shit, they might, they probably know and they probably can figure the most the shit out. So here you want to fucking use another repel. Down to two. And go. There's a spinner there. There's a spinner here. We got past both the fucking spinners. We're rolling, rolling, fucking rolling on that bike. And now you get here. You're gonna get uh, the fucking um, 
The rival's gonna come out, he's gonna talk to you for no reason. It's pointless. And then we have to stop by the mart and buy some more shit. I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need uh, super repels now. This, this mart sells super repels. So this is where we get it. And I, I need uh, Pokemon Center as well because I'm fucking out of PPs and shit. So we'll do that as well. So we're gonna want 18 of these. See if we can afford it. Yep. And then um, see what the fuck. We Only thing else, I would I would get hyper potions. So we got enough money for three hyper potions there. And that's how we want to roll. Need to restore PPs. We're gonna go to Pokemon Center here. And then we'll head on into the lighthouse. And this is the second, I mean we're pretty much halfway through. So this is the second half of the game when you're in the lighthouse. I know what the fuck I'm doing. I know everything that I need to do. <sighs> and so I want to go. Like that. I wasted a tile there while I fucking, um... I was thinking of this floor. Um... You're gonna have to fight this one right here. This is the first battle in the lighthouse. He's got a fucking Noctowl. Noctowl. Yeah, he should be he should be a two hit uh, headbutt deal. So headbutt up this one right here. And if he growls you like that, you, you might want to switch over to Ice Punch to ensure that you get the kill, but he didn't. That was ineffective, so I just went ahead and <laughs> fucking got that second uh, headbutt in there and, and we are rolling, bitch. We go around that one, that trainer there. And then you can go down like that. And into here. There's another trainer here. You're forced to fight him. And then there's another fucking trainer. There's two more trainers, then there's a, also a spinner. I have to get I have to get around a spinner. Um I'm not sure if headbutt's a, a sure deal, so we're gonna make sure that I get the one hit kills with these surfs. Cause I'm not I'm pretty sure headbutt will be fine. You I, I, I would use headbutt here, but I mean, if, if, I, if I, my attack being so low, it was, it was 11, it was a low, I mean, if I had 13 attack, I would definitely use headbutt there, but I'm not sure if my attack is high enough to get headbutt kills at this point, so that's why I surfed there, through his ass, and then you want to talk this bitch and take her out, this is the last tr uh, trainer that you have to fight, with. There, there's a spinner coming up after. I'm gonna headbutt this bitch. Uh, I'm gonna grab the other that's down the floor. I'm not sure if you need it or not, but you know, this being a one-time run, I'm gonna fucking. You never know what the hell's gonna come about, and so I might as well grab uh, the other because in case I run out of PPs at some point down the road and I need it, I might as well grab this free other right here. You don't want to go down that just like that I did there, so that on the left side, so you don't have to fight the trainer. Go down here, here's the spinner. Fucking hit me and I mean at least I hit him the first time and it's not like I hit him the second time and waited for him and shit. I just went straight down to let it happen and the good thing that can come out of this, I could I can get an evolution here. I might not have to use the rare candy. We'll see yeah. So the actually this is great because now, I, I, I can evolve to Croconaw, you, you do that at level 30, and that's going to happen after this battle, and now I won't have to go down a floor to get, to use the, um, to get the rare candy, I can just use the escape rope right on out, because I'm already Croconaw, ready to roll. Headbutt this bitch, take him out, and we will evolve here. So everything is going great. This is this is when, right when you want to evolve too. If not, grab the rare candy, but I don't, I'm not going to use it. We're for alligator already. We don't need it. And 
and that spinner is no longer going to bother me on the way back up there. You have to go back up here a second time anyway, so I mean, at least he, he, he set high in the first pass. But here we talk to her, and then we're going to escape rope out. Well, fucking, I, I fucking hit that twice. We're going to escape rope right on out. And then we need to get strength and surf and shit. So we go on right on here. This is where you get strength. You want to want to probably teach it to right away. So bam, there's strength. They teach that to sand true. Which another reason why sand true is well, I needed sand true. That's why we took some extra time to get him and shit. And we go like that. Pack. Fucking teach strength now. Sand true, and then get a super repel in, or move it up, move it up the top, get a super repel in, and surf on, down to the next gym, and we're going on to the fifth gym now, so we're getting, we're getting like fucking, there really isn't too much to worry about, fuck me, man, I hit the fucking random ass bitch, <laughs> uh, you can go around, you don't need to fight, this trainer here, I just fucking don't know what I was doing there. But it only has one Pokemon star you. And we're, we're wasting time here, a lot of time we're wasting here. But fucking, I get a little bit of it, I get 200 whatever experience and take out, so get 420 there. 420 at least is a good number, so I'm fair with that. You don't need to fight that shit. That was absolutely unnecessary, but... Here's a spinner. We're gonna go... Fuck... Okay. So that's... At least I didn't hit that spinner there, and fucking... I mean... That would be worse than that trainer I fought, so... I'm fucking... Okay with it there. And here we are. We arrive into here. And... Right into the fucking... Gym we go. And this is the fifth gym, we only need three more badges after this, and... I'll see here, we get fly, we get fly after this too. Which is excellent too, and then we get the super potion, and... And you wanna surf here. Ah, fuck, okay, two-hit kill there, a nice two-hit kill. I'm gonna try headbutt next for the Hitmonchan. It's, it was, that was fine, two-hit kill was fine. Hitmonchan here. You try headbutts for his ass. A little headbutt action here. And critical hit the second time, and that made it a two-hit kill. Level on up. He got 100 health now. And he got to fight this trainer as well. And then we have already taught strength to Sandshrew. We're ready to go there. We push those boulders out the way. And then there's one, and there's another trainer, and then we got the fifth gym battle there. I'm gonna surf this bitch here. I'm gonna surf in there. And surf in here. It didn't kill him, we're fine. I'm gonna. Oh shit, we're gonna ice punch here. Might have to use a super potion, might have to use a hyper potion. Depends on what happens here. We'll see. I, I know that fucking uh, Polyrath is a fucking bitch to take out, so... I'm gonna go, I mean, definitely gonna want to heal before the, the gym battle. But we'll, we'll see if I use a super potion or a hyper potion here. We'll Depending on this fight here. Go Mankey there, for the Surf him. Let's 
surf on through that ditch. Then we have Mankey again. Right, he's got Primate or some shit. Or, um, Primate. We'll see if Surf can handle it. I just, probably not. No. And he gets three swipes in, three hits. Surf again. Um, I'm gonna go with the Hyper Potion because otherwise I need to use two Super Potions. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move the Hyper Potion on up and use one of them. And then we'll fight the gym battle here. Kind of scary because I don't have any X attacks. Again, another reason why I, I didn't fucking get any X moves. So I I recommend like two X attacks here for the Poly Wrap, and the, it'll help you with Prime Ape as well. But well, we're just gonna have to wing it here and hope that we can beat this motherfucker without any X moves. So we're gonna headbutt. I think we got seven or something. That should be enough. Gets near it, we're gonna surf this one. Surf should kill, not a problem. We're full health, but now we have Polyrath. He is, he is pretty fucking strong. Flinch, flinch. He put me to sleep, he wanted to fucking, if that happens, awakening. I have four, um, we'll see if it's enough. Dynamic punch is pretty strong. He did fucking a lot of shit there. Hopefully we're not confused. Headbutt gets in. Flinched. Ah, uh, fuck it. This is scary. And headbutt gets in. And hypnosis again. And now we're going to go use a second awakening. He's going to probably use tiny other punch. You don't scare me to death here. Uh, I'm going to fucking use a second... Hyper Potion, obviously. We want to fucking live through this one. Another dynamic punch there. We can try and kill him now. Come on, bitch. Not confused. Yes, 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 yes. That was fucking fair, fair game there. Uh, you probably want um, X attack to make your headbutts more effective against Polyrath. It took me like four or five headbutts to kill him. I got lucky there that none of those confusions got me and that the dynamic punch didn't kill me either. And battled it well. Fucking everything's going well. We got five out of eight of the badges now. I'm gonna exit here. This is where you get fucking fly. You grab fly. You get that HM. You're gonna, want to, you're gonna teach that pretty soon as well, but... Uh, before that, we're gonna head on into the fucking um, house here and get this. This is where you get the secret potion, and that's what you needed to go back to the lighthouse with to get to the. That's what the um, other gym member unlocks her. But now we have fly. I'm gonna teach that now. Teach that now. Kenya, and we're gonna get that fly going. Ecotique City is the one. You want to go to the right of Ecotique. I'm just making sure I'm keeping track of shit and make sure I'm doing the shit right. You go right here. You get. Um, well, that was that was pointless, but you're gonna want to use a super repel here. And head to the right, and now, fucking, let's see here, head to the right here, surf through this, um, go red, go down, like that, and there's a spinner there, I passed him, uh, you wanna go up here, now we gotta, 
get to the Gyarados. Surf up here. You don't have to fight any trainers along this path. This is excellent. Uh, go to the right and then up. And then go like that. And to the left, like that. And head on up. And here, just in time for Gyarados. And you're going to want to use the Pokey uh, doll here. This is why we bought the Pokey doll here. Is you want to pull that shit out so you can run away from this battle here. So, that pack out. Get the Pokey doll in. And go get the red scale. Go down to the right here. And here's where Lance is. And he's going to want you to um, help him out here. You gotta say yes here, and then we have to fly down to space to where he's at. So there's that. And then you want Pokemon fly, and go down, like right there. And I don't think we need to heal because we're gonna get a free heal inside here. Lance gives you a free heal. Um, pretty soon into it, and so I'm pretty sure we'll be good with PPs, and we're gonna head right on into this dungeon. We're getting we're getting pretty fucking close to the end, actually. I mean, there's, there's three more badges. There's like two or three, there's three, like three to four more dungeons, but they're not difficult. None of these dungeons are really difficult. They're just you know there's some trainer battles. Um, you just gotta know where you're going. I'm showing you all the right things to do in a speedrun, and this is a fucking single segment monster, which fucking like not many people can do it in one segment. Let me just say that much. Um, some people can, you know, do it in many segments and save it and shit, but not a lot of people can beat the entire game in one segment in a solid run like this. You're not gonna see this very often, but. I took that fucking bitch out there. I'm gonna get a few trainers here. A few trainers are gonna come up. I know that they're all under level. All the trainer battles at this point are gonna be pretty much under level, except for a few main uh, battles. But for the most part, these are all under level Pokemon. Let's see if we got. I think we got two surfs left. I. I mean, I, I know I'm going to get a free heal in around the bend, but I don't know how... I, I'm not sure how much management is going to happen here. We get Ice Punch here. I know I, I've got 14 Ice Punches left, so that is, if anything, we're going to break down with these Ice Punches here to get through here. I mean, I, I know I'm good on, on the PPs. And we're going to get that heal from Lance, and then it's going to kick things into action. I, there's one or two more trainers that come about here. One more, probably. No, uh, no, no. Continue on forward. Go down to the right here. Right when you get into here, this is the fastest thing to do here. Repel. We're off there. No biggie. Uh, you have to fight this one trainer here. But fighting this one professor trainer here is better than fighting the six or whatever, you know, four trainers that you're going to have to fight along the pillars by hitting the switch here so this makes things a lot faster by defeating him it's why you want to go in here and do this no doubt but, um let's see if ice punch does the trick for me here it's not very effective i'm not happy with it um you're gonna want to that's why i need more surfs at this point but i don't know i fucking i have like one surf left so there's really not much options for me I'll surf through him. That's my last surf. So it's not we're not gonna have any more of those. And he's got another magnemite. I'll try. Uh, and that's not gonna work. I gotta do two more ice punches. Uh, that's all I have left. So we're gonna have to watch the not a very effective screens. We're gonna have to do it slow. I should have managed my surfs a little bit better and saved a couple for those Magnemites. I forgot about them, but... We took his ass out. We're going to get down here. Got to hit the secret switch. And now, the trainers will not bother you on those pillars with the lions. 
So we're gonna go to the right here, and go down, left, down, just like that. Not, not a problem here. And I'm pretty sure we get a heal in here once we get here. Or, fuck me hard, fuck me so hard, fuck me so hard, fuck me so hard. And here I am fucking bragging about how my fucking how good my speed run is. I just fucking went backwards. So, I just wasted a minute or two there. I fuck me. Anyway, you get, you get your heal in here. So, do not take the warp pad there. Take the staircase. Don't be a dumbass like I was in a speed run, like a competition run like this. Fuck me. You want to go up around him and talk to him and not do that either. So, a couple of new mistakes I just currently made and fucking feel like shit about. <laughs> but I'll keep going, like, I, my run is good enough at this point where, I mean, I might as well air this shit. I didn't kill him, and flinched him. I mean, fucking, a lot of new things, a lot of new things going on here. Headbutt of wood. You want one hit KO, you always want one hit KOs. Fucking it. Wasted a fucking move here. So new right there. Anyway, you get to here, and then you get another. Lance looks say, head on out and get those two passwords. Um, there's two rocket members here that you have to defeat and get the passwords from. It's faster to go around. This and there's a protein here. It's a nice item actually to have, and you, it's a freebie there to go around this way and skip the training doing that as well. We go up around here, then we're gonna go. Fight this uh, lab member here. So, minus the fucking idiotic fucking things I just did. Like I went, I went up the warp pad instead of the staircase and fucking wasted a minute or two there. Like I wasted a lot of time doing that. And then I fucking um walk right into the rock and then like an idiot instead of um using the explanation mark. But we'll stop bitching about that. We'll continue on with the run. It's it's a pretty decent run at that. I mean, given that I have not used any saves, I'm not fucking around, this is a single segment deal. And given that I'm talking over and giving all this commentary as well, like, this is some good commentary. I mean, could be better, I guess. I'm trying to think of things valid to say during the run. I mean, I know what the fuck I'm doing. I just kind of messed up a couple times there, which... Well, hey, I mean, it, it happens. Um... And I, it's nothing too big, it's not like you can't fucking fast forward the, the shit that I messed up in. Here's uh, Ekans here, I'm gonna headbutt this bitch. Um, we're gonna pull things back together and get back on track and back to what, what I was scheming. Um, and I, I just feel bad about hitting that war pad and going uh, through that shit twice, and that was, I mean, but... Uh, you get the pass. You have to talk to her twice. And make sure you get that password. You want to make sure you have that. Get the slowpoke tail password, and then we head to the left here. You get another fucking um, scientist there. He's got uh, Ditto, which easy serve for easy. Just about any any of my moves at this point would probably one hit KO him. But I, I know for a fact that Surf will do it, and we <laughs> need to fucking pull things back together because uh, I'm feeling pretty shitty about fucking the mistakes I made. But I'll pull. I, I will fucking make it worth your time. Now he got the explanation mark in there. If you're if you're fast enough to get him before he turns on you like that, um, you can talk to him without the explanation mark. But it's pretty rare there to get a fucking um, for him not to turn towards you and. It's a good thing I got as close as I did to him. Like, it's not like he took any steps towards me and wasted any time on that. And that will save time there as well. Radicate Surf on through. I Fucking any of my moves would probably do it. I should probably save Surf's, but... Uh, he has the second password. Talk to him. Get the second password, which is... Radicate Tail. Slowpoke Tail and Radicate Tail. Now we can head on up. 
there we go. And then you get another rocket battle here. There's another fucking battle we have to fight here. But then after that, uh, we get to the point where we use the password. And then there's a there's a main there's a a rocket elite member that you have to fight, which has she has closer to your level Pokemon. It gets you know it's more challenging than. But this is clearly, I mean, you're clearly so over-leveled at this point that all of these battles are just complete, are just a complete joke, and... They headbutt that motherfucker there, they're pulling things back to me, everything's going good now, I mean... I'm gonna brush off that mistake, I could, I care less, the run's just going so damn well, and there's just so many goddamn things I like about this run. Now we're, we're pulling it together here. We're down. And here's the password. And you're going to get your rival's going to show up. And uh, it's not gonna battle, he's not going to battle you here. But he will talk to you and wait you what, for whatever reason he feels it's necessary to come here and waste your time. But he's, he's going to come here, he's going to talk some shit, and finally he'll leave. And now we can go up here, unlock the door with the two passwords, fight this elite member here. I think you're going to be using Surf a lot through this one. And other than that, uh, you go back down, you fight some more elite members, and then you got to fight three electrodes and help out Lance through his shit, and then and then we can fight the gym leader here, and then we'll go back and fight the, um, what was the other bitch's name, the sixth, so I mean, both, both of these gym battles are going to come back to back, and then we'll have seven, seven out of eight of the badges, and there's only one more badge to collect after that, and I mean, I mean, you gotta go through the ice cavern, I like that, I like the ice cavern as well, I like everything about the ice cavern, I think it's pretty badass, you get a water fall there, or water... Uh, whirlpool, either either whirlpool or waterfall there. Ice punch will make it happen here. Kill this one, and there goes that rocket executive. And uh, he does some sh stupid shit there. You gotta talk to the stupid bird. This he right here, he gives you the Hail, G Hail Giovanni uh, Illuminati password that he gives you the fucking B666 there. He gives you the fucking Hail Giovanni, the fucking praise the devil, fucking Hail Satan, motherfuckers. There you go, there you have it, that's what you're supposed to do. Everything's clicking now, I mean, fuck me! I should have went around him, fuck me hard. Um, remember to go back and around that trainer. Do not fight this trainer. It's a fucking waste of all your time. And I mean, I, I, I fucking, I, I was gonna go up. I fucking, my finger slipped on the left button and I fucking hit him. I, I was gonna go up. I knew he was there too. It's not, it's not like I don't know what the fucking maps all look like. No, I know what the fuck to do. You need to go back around that motherfucker and not waste fucking a minute or two of your life there. But here we get to the door finally. And then uh, Giovanni, or no, not Giovanni, but this rocket members will come. The, the password was Hail Giovanni, but I mean, given the mistakes that I've made, I said I was gonna fucking do better too. I fucking ran into that fucking rocket member, man. But anyway, this is what you need to do. This is part of the event. This is, you have to do this segment here, you get to fight this bit. She has a little bit better poke at this point you need um surf and ice punch for the gloom and shit, but you need to definitely surf for this Arbok here. He's got a little bit of bulk to him. So we'll surf him out. But it's not too much to really worry about. You got the gloom up here. I headbutt might it might kill him, but with my low attack, I'm not even going to chance it. I have 11 attack to begin with, so... 
Ice Punch is a sure bet there. And Surf, Surf is a sure bet here with Murkrow. And that, that saves you a super effective text that Ice Punch would have gave you. And there's that battle. Not a problem there. I mean, I've done a fucking, I've done enough mistakes in this dungeon here. I, I fucking know what the fuck I'm doing, too. It just makes me feel so shitty when I make those mistakes. But it, I mean, this, this goddamn run has gone, it, this run was so perf impervious up to the fourth badge. I mean, it, when it, once I got to the fifth badge, um, I did make a couple mistakes and then, and some mistakes here, but they're really, it's pretty flawless besides that, and with the commentary, it's not, I mean, you're not going to get this commentary again, it's going to be different every time, so, I'm pretty sure, we're going to roll on through, we got a fucking electro, three electrodes to fight here, and this is what you need to do for this segment, headbutt's probably the best, surf might be, it's, Never mind, never, never, never mind, never mind. My attack is so low that Surf is the best. My attack is so shit. They, my ba my base stats were so shit for attack. I wanted at least 12 attack, but... Um, Surf might do tricks, so we're gonna flip over to that. You want these goddamn one-hit KOs. When you're not getting one-hit KOs, you're fucking around... But, I mean, one of the reasons why this is not good is because I'm going to need those serfs for the next dungeon. But fuck it, man, because we're going to surf on through this last electrode. You know, I've, I, this, I am done with this dungeon. I've made enough mistakes in this dungeon to where it's not, I mean, this is not the best way... I could have done so much better. I could have been done with this so much faster. That's how I feel. But he'll take you out. Or no, he doesn't. You have to. You have to walk out. You have to go through that warp pad. But you get whirlpool. He gives you whirlpool. That's. I'm gonna teach that to Polyrag. That's the only other Pokemon that we need to worry about catching. Once we have Polyrag. It's a done deal, we just need to worry about the gameplay here, and, I mean, given that I've been doing pretty shitty lately, I need to step it up, step up the game here. So you leave there, um, I'm just gonna go straight on into the gym, actually, I'm pretty sure we're good to go. FUCK ME! So fucking noob! So fucking shit that I just so fucking bad. It's another waste of time. So much time wasting. I just feel so shitty. So new here. I need those goddamn headbutts from the damn gym later too. Oh well, we're gonna have to fucking say it. Well, ho ho hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, you don't run into the spinner dog. Okay, okay, we did not run into Doug, and that, I've seen so many people run into Doug that even though I fought a fucking trainer that was fucking standing still and facing the same direction, and I know he's there, I fucking hit the right... I fucking hit the wrong button. And here we are with the sixth gym member. Uh, we have... Who's this? Uh, fuck. Price. We have Price here. He flinched. We're gonna bite him away. He's not a problem. It's a pretty easy battle here. But see, the problem... problem is... I've got a couple of fucking dungeons to crawl through. So, took out that Dugon there. And he's got a, sw um, a pillow swine. 
You got Surf is uh, super effective, I believe, and hit Surf will take him out one hit. He's not a problem. And now. He took his ass out. Now we have six of eight of the badges. Six of eight of the badges there. I'm going to fly back to the, uh, what was it? Olivine City. Back to Olivine City and fight that gym leader there. After that, we'll have seven of eight of the badges. And now, I mean, at that point, we're just one badge away. Holy fuck, that was noob. But, um, I'm going to fly on over to Olivine City. And this time, we're going to go a second time through the second time through this tower and we gotta give the secret potion to the gym leader at the top. So our second trip through the lighthouse. Uh, this time there's not gonna be any trainer battles. They're all defeated already. And No, you know, no, nothing. I, I have no problem with this either. This is that. This is an excellent, just easy. To, there's nothing, not a problem there. And since I've already fought the spinners, not not gonna have to worry about him. But he didn't face me anyway. But here's Jas Jasmine. We give the secret potion to Jasmine, and we're gonna escape rope right on out. And then we're gonna fight Jasmine. I think we have three serves. I, th I think we have three serves. So we're gonna roll on in. If we do, it sh she should be easy to kill here. Get that. Uh, now we're gonna use a protein while we have that menu open as well. And get off some more attack. And get an escape rope. So while, I mean, while you have the menu open, you might as well get that protein in there. Go. We're gonna fight Jasmine. We're gonna collect the seventh badge, and then we only have one more badge to go. And then you got the elite four and shit. But I mean, it's pretty. Uh, I'm I'm perfectly fine with the speed run. I fucking you you've seen. I mean, you've seen me. You know, bitch about the parts I messed up on, and you've seen what's kind of hard and shit, and what's easy, and you know how to do it and shit. And you can rewind and you know listen to all my commentary and you can roll. You know, this is a timeless masterpiece that you can watch over and over again and fucking learn from and fucking do it your own. I mean, I, I know it's that people are going to do better than this. I know that people are going to be able to beat this speedrun, but the, the effort that I've, I'm putting in, you know, the fact that I'm doing it all in one run without saving it and not splitting up any segments or anything and fucking just giving you a solid run, like, throughout the whole game and giving you, con like, I'm not going to fucking back away from it. We're going to go through the whole game and... To show you how that is, and I mean, after that, I mean, I'm gonna do the Johto region and then do the Kanto region in the second video. There's gonna be two videos the Kanto and Johto, but the Johto is really a the Kanto region is really a extra part, you don't have to do that. But I mean, I will show you that in an extra video. But this one's the Johto region. We fucking uh, we collected seven badges, we just got one last one to go. You get a phone call here. It says go back to the Goldenrod City. Um, I'm trying to think of a few things here. I might want to go to the Mart to, go to get X items and shit, so... So we go to Goldenrod City. I'm going to take a Pokemon. My, my fucking uh, PPs are low as shit, too, so... You can make it without taking a Pokemon Center trip here, but, I mean, the way that things have been going for me, I can definitely tell that I'm going to be needing more PPs and shit. Uh, let's see here. Do I want... Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna need some fucking X items down the road. So we're going to go... We're going to go to the fourth floor. And th this is because I need X items here.
it's, it's actually the third floor, which I'm fucking around, but um, I'm going to want like eight of these, or six of these, and um, two X specials and two X speeds is what I'll go with. And fuck, man, since I'm here, since I'm here, I should have just done this to begin with, but... I'm gonna go down to the fourth, the fourth floor. I'm fucking around. I'm gonna buy some um, after I sell. But I see when we're gonna sell all four of these. And then now, I'll, you know, why not? I'll, I'll go ahead and buy four, uh, three more proteins because I know. I mean, I, I see attack being more um, important than special, especially because mine sucks so much, but uh, basically, I mean, you do not need to do that. That was extra there, but the only thing you need, once you get here, the, basically, you're supposed to go straight to here, but I, I went to the Pokemon Mart there because I needed those X items, which I'm going to need later, but I mean, if you had enough money to buy that shit early game... You wouldn't have had to do that, but I mean, we've already made enough mistakes to the point where why, I mean, what the hell? Why not just take? You know, that was a pretty healthy um, Pokemon Mart trip there, and here we are with the um, ro uh, Radio Tower. It's infested with uh, Rocket members. Infested with Rocket members, and uh, we're just gonna take them all out. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. You know, I know the best route. I know what I'm doing here. Here we got Slash. We're going to delete um, Bite. And now we're going to learn Slash. And we have 20 Slashes. And that's better than the Strength by far. And you get critical hits as well. Which could fuck some shit up. And I think by far it's better to have Slash. You know, so... Well, whoever the fuck, uh, Wester didn't use a slash, but ah, fuck, yeah, that's what you know. That's what you want to do. I did, I did the right thing. But Wester Love didn't use um slash. He says to use strength and shit. But I think with the critical hits and towards for the Elite Four, for example, like slow bro, like you might get a one hit kill with slash, and there's just so many things that slash can do for you. And here we get headbutt in. And head on up to the top of this radio tower and after that then you have to go to the underground tavern and come back to the radio tower again and uh, back to the top but fucking um and then, and then we can finally go to the eighth uh city and the eighth fight the final gym battle and get the final you know we have seven out of eight badges we only have that one last badge to collect but there's few things that we have to do in the overworld here, which is, you go up this radio tower for one, and once you have all seven badges, you're on the radio tower, that's what you need to do, and then you need to go to the underground cavern and get the card key there, and come back to the radio tower, I mean, I'm showing you all this shit, we're, we're doing it now, but, uh, I'm probably going to want to save surfs for later, because there is a, a tough member, there's an elite member at the top here that um, takes a lot of surfs to take out, and with these mucks, it's really hard, I mean, you're probably not even going to get a one-hit kill with surf, so, I mean, it's kind of 50 kick. and with his hardens, not going to save him from an offensive move there, I'm going to use the headbutt, doing a lot of rambling, I'm hoping everyone's fucking staying with me and keeping on track with this fucking shit. Uh, when you get up to this point, you want to talk to him and save yourself the explanation mark and him walking over. That helps a lot there. And just, you're going to have to fight this member to get up the stairs here. Now, I'm pretty sure Ice Punch is going to work out for me. I'm going to go roll with those Ice Punches. Grimer, he would just try Ice Punch as well. I'm pretty sure he, he'll handle him. I mean, as long as I'm pretty, I'm, you know, it's 90% that it's going to be 100% KO. 
Look, we'll see what Slash looks like. It's, it's, it's such an excellent move. Rattatata will give him a nice punch. And then we'll head on. You want to go down around that rocket member there? You're going to have to fight this fucking scientist here. Because uh, he's blocking your way. And surf for the Magnemite so that you don't have any not very effective screens. And uh, surf, for the most part, will be killing them one hit KO. So surf out those magnemites. And then you get a magna and a third magnemite. So surf through all three of the scientist Pokemon here. And then we can head on up to the next floor. And I think there's a spinner on the next floor, I'm pretty sure. He he goes into rotation as well. So it's an easy spinner to get by. Because he goes in that easy circle. And then you got to fight this fucking scientist here as well. And then we have the elite member on the top floor. This is the second to last floor. Head on up a floor here and you'll fight the elite member. His Porygon might survive a surf. But the surf also might kill it. So you want to see if it gets it in. Aw, oh, fuck, now we have to see a super effective screen, which I didn't want to do. I should've used Headbutt there, useless. And we finally made it to the top floor. And he's got, I think, five or six Pokemon. He's got a, he's got stronger Pokemon. He's, he's more of a challenge here. No, especially than all the rest of the Rocket members, which were complete, they were completely under-leveled. I mean, not, as I said before, most of these trainer battles are going to be under-leveled, and they're not going to stand a chance against you. This is the only one that, I mean, he, he has close to your level, but even still, Surf will fucking take them all out, so it's not like it's a problem. You know, surf on through his bitch ass. Uh, let's see here. I, I'll take another fucking Pokemon Center trip just in case I want a PP going down the underground tunnel. I mean, but I, I've definitely taken more Pokemon Center trips than I need to. But I mean, when you're managing, when when you need, I know I need more surfs, and I know I fucking didn't manage that well. But fuck it, like. Like, I'm just showing you the basic shit and how to do this, and this is the radio, this is finishing up the radio tower, after that you're gonna get the basement key, the underground, um, entrance, and then you're gonna have to go there, but I will take a Pokemon Center trip before going to the underground tunnel, after this fight, so, you know, that's that, so, you collect the basement key here. Uh, from this rocket executive, he's a VIP member. He's one. That, he's on the top line of the rocket members there. <clears throat> but we'll complete this single segment run. Pretty badass. We're going one run through here. You might have to wait a second for him. You don't want. You definitely don't want to fucking um, run into a battle. You don't need to. I've de I've done a few. I've done that a few times. I haven't, which kind of pissed me off, but. Badass music here, we'll listen to it, I'll shut up. Yeah, I'm gonna take a Pokemon Center trip while it's down right here. Um, after that, we gotta go to the underground cavern there. Um... Then we need to fucking go back to the radio tower a second time, and then go to the use the car key there to get to the 
shit there. Here's the underground uh, entrance here. Now you're going to be fighting some extremely under uh, uh, underleveled Pokemon when you go down, head down this tower. I mean, you can stop out of your way to fight these guys and maybe get the, you know, the Croconaw evolution or some shit before, but, I mean, uh, you might want to do to get the Feraligator evolution in the, during the lighthouse to skip the rare candy and shit. But, I mean, it's completely out of the way, and you might as well do it now. When you're, I mean, even though you're not getting any experience, it's not like this is any very eventful, but uh, you're going to have to go through this anyway. I mean, why, as, 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 the way I look at it, why go down here twice when I can just go down here once and get it all done? But, had to fight this trainer, then, get the, then we're going to have a rival battle. To fucking work with. Let's surf on through that. Fucking Magnemite is going. I mean, all three of my other moves are not very effective, and you would have to go through a not very effective tech scene if I don't use Surf for these Magnemites. I mean, even though, you know, I'd like to save the Surfs, you're gonna have to use them for the Magnemites. They're, they are the, the ones that you need for the Magnemites. So all three of the Magnemites surf through, and he's got a Voltorb, you can fucking uh, slash or headbutt him, but... I'll probably, I'll even ice punch him. But, fucking, um, after that, then you go to the right, now that we have the basement key from the radio tower, you need to get all seven badges to get all, you know, to have, open that up, but you have the basement key, you can head on in to here, and then you get the rival battle here, and the rival comes down the stairs and challenges you here. This is a bit of a challenge, this rival battle here, but it should not be a problem, you know, at all whatsoever. We should be fucking them up pretty well. Let's see. We're gonna ice punch him to make sh ensure the fucking. We're gonna make sure this is a one hit kill. <laughs> Fuck them up there. Level up and. Uh, and we're gonna get Magnemite. And of course, we're gonna surf through him as we have been for all the other Magnemites we've encountered. Surf is the way to go. And you get chicken, uh, Mag Maggie on this is a bitch. Might headbutt him there. And then you want ice punch after that, but going to the, the headbutt would be to fl so that you can flinch him. That that would be why a headbutt would be effective there. Um, you might not have enough attack for that. You might have to fucking ice punch him twice to get the two hit kill. But as you saw there. I mean, clearly, if I would have headbutted and him flinched, everything would have been perfect there. I'm pretty sure Surf will work here. We'll see. No, it didn't quite kill him. But a second one will. And I'm gonna fucking uh, get an antidote in to cure that poison. We're not gonna fucking fuck around with the poison. We're gonna go ahead and heal that right away. And that was the rival member there. It was not really a problem. Again, never really a problem. I'm fucking. I'm hoping you guys are fucking enjoying this single segment run. It's. It's not. Pr I, I know I have better. You know, I know I could do better, but giving it a single segment run is pretty damn good, actually. Because I mean, I there's no fucking around. You can just get to watch. You know, solid gameplay and you know what the fuck is going on here. And, you gotta fight three rocket members in here, and then hit those switches, and then you got a couple burglars that you gotta fight, and so clean your battle, and then more tra more rocket members along the way. There's battles and battles and battles to go here. Slash is rolling deep. And there's one of the three, there's a second member here.
And the, the password here, I mean, not everyone understands the password here. I will explain that very well. I mean, the password is going to be 1, 2, 3. Just simple, just so simple. 1, 2, 3. The first switch, the second switch, and the third switch. And from left to right. So hit the far left switch, hit the middle switch, hit the right switch. And I'll, I'll show you that. I mean, after this next battle, I will show you what to do with the password here. And that's about it. A lot of people don't know what the fuck is going on there either. They they can get lost here too. You slash his ass. Cut through the bitch. Um, I, th I think I'm gonna need six. We're gonna save all those serfs for later. We'll be slashing our way through here. And you get this rocket member here. So let's fuck him up. He's got a couple Pokemon there. We'll slash, we'll slash them both. Just demonstrate that um, fucking badass move. And then it's time to show you the password in, the, in this uh, underground basement here. Because you're going to come across it, it's going to be a bitch sometimes, possibly. Check out that, he's probably going to be a 2-hit kill. Unless Slash gets a critical hit in. If Slash would have critical hit in there, it could have 1-hit killed him. Which is why Slash is good there too. So 3... 2... 1... Just from left to right, 3 to 1, that's the password. And then you gotta fight the burglar here. And at this point, uh, you don't need to surf him. You can slash, or, or headbutt, headbutt or slash, or strength, or whatever, you know, one of those three. Um, because it will be faster not to see this uh, super effective text. I mean, even though, you know, 100% you know that surf is gonna kill him, uh, also slash is definitely good enough effective at this point where you're going to get that. And after this dungeon I will equip the three proteins that I didn't, you know, I got here and escape broke on out. I'll show you all that shit too. I basically got that burglar there, you got another one, you got another burglar down here. And then another, a rocket girl to the right. And then, you're just gonna be fighting a lot of battles, they're all easy as fuck, you're not gonna, there's no way I can see that I'm gonna lose any of these. Like, there's no fucking way. And Ice Punch this? Because Ice Punch is kind of the weakest move, I suppose, but, I mean, it has its, it has its use in it. Like, you know, fuck up grass. Grass type moves and all that. Shit and um, flying type moves, it'll be super effective as well. Here's Mag Magmar, we're gonna slash his ass, kick his ass, critical hit to make sure. And head on over to the female rocket member here. And then we can finally. Um, Enter the next screen, uh, you know, make it to the final floor of the basement here. The blooms, you should be good enough level to where you can use slash or strength or headbutt to where they will one hit kill, and they will not bring up the super effective text. And <laughs> and leveling it on up, and I mean, I. We are fucking getting close to the end here. I'm probably only going to make it to level 55 by the end of the run, so... I'm only going to grow, like, 12 more levels. Slash did not kill the fucking gloom. My fucking attack is so shit. I would have needed a critical hit. I got critical hit for the first one, but not the second one, which is why he was two hits there. But we're going to go to the right here. Down, down, down. And then to the right here. We got, I think, one, two, three, we got three more fights to go, and then we're finally done with the basement here, and then we gotta head back to the radio tower. 
for the second trip through the radio tower. I'm going to headbutt these two radicates you guys here. So we'll get one here. I need the serves. We're going to save the serves. Take out that fucking gold bat there. Now we can head to the right, head on up, and fight this rocket member here. Alright, that huck, 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 whatever the fuck. Um, Grimer looks. Oh, I should be able to slash through him. I'm trying to save those serfs for the second trip to the radio tower as well. Uh, I'm not quite sure uh, how that's going to go. You probably want to surf through this fucking wheezing here. I'm just trying to strategize with my PPs of how... I'm going to do this without a Pokemon Center trip. But here's the final fucking rocket member um, of the basement room. After this, we can talk to that guy with the hat there, and he'll give you the card key, which makes it so we can go back to the fucking, um... Back to the fucking uh, radio tower for the second time. Take out this one right here. And that's the that's the basement for you right there. We're gonna talk to this guy. We're gonna equip the three pe the three proteins I have. Use the escape rope to get out of here. And head back into the rat radio tower. So fucking after he's done blabbering down to that protein. So one there, two there, the final one, and then we need that escape rope. Now we head back into the radio tower. Straight from there, just go straight back into the radio tower. And you go around all the shit that you've done before, just just like you had before, up into this third floor here, and then just go, you know, around him again like we did last time. And um, use the, now we have the card key there. We insert that shit and fucking finish up the radio tower. With after that, then we can finally collect the eighth badge, the final badge, and, you know, do everything, complete the game here, and fucking uh, finish up the run, and see what our final time is going to be. And I fucking should not have used Surf there, dumbass move there. Should have used the uh, headbutt, but I'm trying to manage that fucking shit. I, th I think I have enough slashes to where I'll be fine. Because they will do a lot of good damage to you. But you get that gun out the way, you go up the fucking staircase here to this rocket member there. He's got a gold bat. Or, yep. He's got a gold bat. And ice punch should one hit KO him. But my special's not the best, I don't think without uh, calcium, so it might not kill him. No, it did not. He got a fucking leech life in. That was pretty useless, so I'm not complaining too much there. And we'll head to the top of this, um, top of this radio tower here. Gotta fight this girl, then the fight the guy down there and then you're finally done here. 
then we have to walk back out of the radio tower, answer the questions to get to get the uh, radio card for the uh, for the pokey gear. And you understand that? You need to get that uh, fucking uh, radio, the goddamn radio, the radio card, and I'll I'll, I'll give you all the answers to that as well. The vile plume will go ice punch and one hit kill. Let's see if. No, it did not. We'll fucking kill him. See what his fight. He's got a Mercury Crow, I think. Yeah. We'll, we'll try Slash. So we're good to go. And we gotta fight the, um. Rocket member here behind the desk. <laughs> and then we get the gold, the gold wing in the gold version. We get the silver wing in the silver version. Uh, we're gonna get the wing after this, and that has no significance, but we're gonna collect it here. And, uh, and kick his ass. He's got a Han door. Surf, we gotta surf through all three of these. Just like this. So with those, you should have three surfs left to go at the end. You should be good. And you're gonna use all three of those surfs to defeat this executive here. And, you're, and if you've managed the PP like I have, I mean, I, I didn't do perfect, but just good enough to have the three surfs through at the end to kill him. And he's got a, a Han Doom at the end, which surf will take out. So he kicked his ass to fuck him up, and then all the rocket members are going to leave this radio tower now that you've um, taken out that executive there. We'll go through some more text. <clears throat> you get the gold wing here. Well, the rainbow, we get the rainbow wing in the gold version. I thought you get the silver wing in the silver version, you get the rainbow wing in the gold version. And that's to get ho ho, but I'm not going to be getting ho ho, but uh, that'll lead you to ho ho in the tin tower. Where the fuck. And now we got to ditch this place. Uh, all the rocket members are gone now. And we can just. Go right on through here. Oh yeah, there's a bitch here that you got to go. <sighs> and you get to here and... You gotta answer all these questions correctly. And I will do it. So yes for the first one. Yes for the second one. And that was so fucked up right there. So... Answer, answer one, question one is yes. Answer the question two, yes. Answer the question three, no. Answer the question four, yes. Answer the question five, no. So, two yeses, a no, and a yes and a no. So, yes, yes, no, yes, no there. Yes, yes, no, yes, no. Yes, yes, no, yes, no. Remember that if you fucking want to get the radio card there. Now it's time to fly to the mahogany town and head to the right and get our collect our eighth badge. And now we get the bike the bike shops and give you this. We have to catch a polywag in the water here. That's the final thing we have to do is catch polywag here. So we're going to go left and right until we run into polywag. Run into polywag now. The polywrath, either one will um, fucking, either one will learn whirlpool and um, the fucking uh, other one, but 
that was pretty horrible. I want I want to catch a polywag. Here he is. Um, we're just gonna see level 22 there. We're just gonna see if throwing the pokeballs will do it. You have four pokeballs to go. And you're all the only reason they would use them is to get this polywag here. And we caught no. No, we gotta throw another one. We gotta throw another Pokeball. I don't, I, I, this one better catch. Fuck me hard! Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna throw the third ball. And this one's gonna catch, motherfucker. This one's gonna put you in the fucking bag. There you go. There you have it. There's my Poliwag. That's the last Pokemon I need to catch. Fucking gave me some trouble. It took three balls there. Big P is in is in the crew. And then you want to go around the trainers like that and fight this bitch here. And then we're gonna get to the ice cavern. I like I fucking love the ice cavern. It's so fucking I love the details of it. I love the ice. I love ice elements. I love fucking frozen things. And we're gonna slash these bitches around. And then <clears throat> after slashing these bitches around, we will fucking um get to the ice cavern. And show you, I'll show you the ice cavern to get to the eighth and final badge, and we'll collect that shit too. Because we were fucking beating the whole entire game in one run, no fuck around. Okay, you wanna get a fucking um super repellent right now? And here we go with the ice cavern. So what? This is how you navigate the ice cavern. I got it down. Just like that, and go around, do do do. Just like this. And that's how you do it, motherfuckers. And then you gotta go here, you gotta go like that, and collect the uh, HM7 there. Now we have Whirlpool, and we have uh, Waterfall as well, so we're good to go. So we gotta X on out of this fucking uh, tower. We have to use Repel here. And then you have to push some boulders around in the right order here. So I'll show you what to do with the boulders here. Just gonna push that one there and go like that. Just push this one up into the mark here and then go down and push that one and go around that just like that. Fucking excellent, excellent, excellent. And then push this one down the hole. After you push this one down the hole, then you go down here into this one down here, go up and to the right, and you're good to go. And then you fucking get here, you get here, and down there, and here's the final um, fucking shit here. You gotta go like this. We're gonna use we're gonna use another repel, but I don't, I don't want any encounters. You get there, and you get there, and you're done. That's the ice cavern, motherfuckers. I'm gonna use a Pokemon Center because I think I need it. Because we run out of PPs, and go to the Pokemon Center. And then after that, I'm gonna fight the eighth gym leader. Take his ass out. We have all eight badges. We go to the victory road and beat the fucking Elite Four. It's, it's that fucking simple. And then we beat the entire fucking game. Just like that. We'll see what the time is. I'm, the time's not going to be fucking perfect. It's not going to be what I exactly wanted, but... Um, I can't really complain with a single segment run like this. Like, this is a test... A single segment test run, pretty much. But it, when it was, it is quite the masterpiece. I fucking wish I didn't uh, go through that war pad in the fucking dungeon there. And I wish I, I did a few things better, but... I mean, with the commentary involved and with like everything 
coming together. It's I'm really liking this run right here. It's quite a good run. And here's the eighth gem with the fucking jutinis, and this is a dragon base uh, element gem. And you're fighting dragon Pokemon here. But fucking take out all these dragons. Um, I didn't use the other. I could have used the other instead of the. That's what the other was for: is to get uh, more strengths and more uh, uh, to get you through here. You use the other here so that you don't have to um, go to the Pokemon Center. But I'm gonna save that other for later in case whatever comes up. And here we are with the bitch here and the fight her. He's blocking your way. <clears throat> So we're gonna fight this bitch out. She's got a Seedra, we're gonna slash the Seedra. We're gonna be slashing like most of this shit. Smoke screen there, we get the fucking headbutt there. <clears throat> I fucking love it, man. We're getting to the end of the run. Fucking, uh, it wasn't, that's what I'm saying, it wasn't the fucking 100% masterpiece run I was looking for, but goddamn, is it a good fucking single segment run all the way with commentary and shit. Like, goddamn, is it a fucking mat or a beauty. Uh, hit these strength. This is what you want to do with the boulders in the 8th gym. You want to push this boulder down here, like that. And then you're going to fight this motherfucking trainer up here. This one right here. He's got uh, Seedra. Uh, couple, he's got a couple good ones. Um, like a dragon there and a Seedra or some shit. And he's not, you know, just slash on through whatever the fuck he's doing. Kick his ass. Slash did not quite fucking kill him there, unfortunately. The headbutt missed. Fucking shit. Wasting my time. That's uh, smoke screen. That you don't want that smoke screen to get in because then your accuracy lowers, and then you gotta fucking um, you gotta keep using shit until you get him. We'll see if we get the flinch here. Yep, we did. We'll get another slash in here. We're getting. I only missed that one move from the smoke screen. It wasn't. I mean. It's gonna, it's gonna happen if you don't one hit kill that fucking um, horsey there. So we push these down, and then we go down this pole here, and then we go to the right here, and we gotta fight this bitch here, and then we got Claire, which is the eighth and final gym leader of the Johto region. So I have shown you all eight badges in one video of the Johto, this was a fucking pretty good run, it, you know, it, I enjoyed the commentary that I supplied with it, um, I enjoyed fucking how it went, and spe especially since my attack was not good to begin with, since I started out with 11 attack, and you want either 12 or 13 attack to start out with, I mean, considering that as well, I mean, this was a pretty damn good run for what I was had to work with here. Um, you know, I should have got X, X moves a little bit earlier, I should have managed my money a little bit better there, but fuck, man, we have fucking made it to Claire, the eighth and final gym member, I'm hoping you guys are enjoying this shit, I hope you guys fucking, um, subscri subscribe, comment, fucking like my shit, fucking, you know, give me some pointers on what to do, you know, for another run, I'm gonna... You know, if this all t pans out, this will be the official Gold Root speedrun. Um, fucking after that, I'm going to do the Crystal Meth speedrun. Yep, we're going to do the Crystal Meth speedrun as well. And there's a few things that are altercated in the Crystal version, like you, um, the Squirt Bottle, for example, is in a different... You have to uh, go to the fucking... Um, you have to go to the... Uh, so a few things, do a few things before getting the Squirt Bottle in the Crystal version. And there's uh, Claire as well. Claire goes around in random locations. You have to do a few things there too. There's a bit of storyline there. Uh, but um, this was a fucking excellent, excellent run up to the eighth gym. Um, the mistakes I made were minor. Yeah, I fucking um, 
I fucking uh, used the war pad instead of the staircase in that one fucking uh, dungeon, but other than that, I mean, I really can't fucking complain too much about this run. It's fucking, uh, expect, like, with, yeah, with my fucking commentary over it, like, fuck, it's going pretty damn well. This Kingdra right here is the problem. It takes a few slashes, but it, it'll use Hyper Beam and then it'll have to recharge and it'll it kind of fuck itself over. And it, it did get a Hyper Potion in that critical. That is why fucking Slash people is fucking so good. It's because if you get a critical hit like that, I mean, there's a two hit Slash KO instead of a three, so. When you get those critical hits in with those slashes, it will save time and it will fuck shit up and you do want that. That is why you want Sandshrew to teach uh, Cotton Dig 2, and that's what he's for. We now have all eight of the fucking badges. Wait, he fucking makes you go to the fucking cave, the Dragon's Den first, before you do actually get the fucking badge, but we did beat. We beat all eight gym leaders, it's not like we're fucking around here. We are on point, we are on target here, with where I need to be, I need to fucking, um, let's see here, we get super repel in case, yep, and then, whirlpool, I need to teach that to polywag, that's why we got him, and we'll keep hypnosis just in case, um, uh, just, I like hypnosis, we'll keep that. I do like that move, because it, it'll help you catch Pokemon if you want to catch other Pokemon. You just use, use Hypnosis and it'll raise your catching ability way up. <clears throat> if you use Hypnosis, like for le like a legendary Pokemon, for example, if I wanted to catch Ho-Ho without a Master Ball, or so something like that, then Hypnosis would be fucking mandatory. So, I mean, it, it would be good in that sense there. Here we are with the Dragon's Den. Nothing fucking challenging about this. You just make sure you have Whirlpool and use the only time you need to use Whirlpool in the entire game. Johto and Kanto region. That's the only time you're going to be using Whirlpool. It's a fucking pretty useless move, but I mean, you do need it to get back in here and you do need to use it to progress here. But here we're going to get the um, Dragon Fang. It's going to get Claire is going to show back up. It's going to give you uh, Dragon Breath, the TM, and as well as the Rising Bat, the, the eighth and final badge. We have all eight badges now, baby. And now you just want to use that final fourth escape rope. You need four escape ropes. This is the fourth time you need to use that last and final escape rope to get out of this fucking um, Dragon's Den here. I mean, unless you're going to get big. And use dig. You're gonna need these escape ropes. You're gonna need four of them. And that's the fa it's the fastest way to go. So you're probably gonna want to do that. You're probably gonna want to get that escape rope in. And now we have to fly back to uh, New Bark Town after a phone call. I believe. Yep, a phone call from Professor Elm. He tells you to get your ass back to the lab. You do not have to go to talk to him. You just need to go to the New Bark Town. So we're just going to fly right to New Bark Town and go head straight to the right and go straight to the end and go right on into the Elite Four now. <laughs> Fuck. We made this quite the journey. We made it. We fucking got to the end here. All in one single easy segment. And this guy tells you now you're in Kanto. We're in Kanto. We're hanging out. We're rolling in. And get that bike out for this and... Then you got, this is the use, this is, I think, the only really time you need to use Waterfall, too. But you need to go up there, and then you need to go down here. Now, we are fucking, that's a spinner there, she goes in a fucking, um, rotation, I think. Uh, I fucking, I did not have to fight her. I'm pretty happy about that shit, because in the Silver Bandit run, I fucking ran into that bitch. So, I mean, there's things, the things that I didn't do right in the Silver Bandit run, I did right in this run. So, I mean, you can balance them out. You can watch both of my Silver Bandit and Gold Loot Speed runs and see, like, the differences. Like, I've done everything pretty, I know what the fuck I'm doing. It's not like I don't know what the fuck's going on here in this uh, second generation game. And, I mean, it, me, myself, personally, 
I do like the first generation Pokemon over all the Pokemon games. I think the first generation was just so fundamental. Like all all the elements were there. Everything was just in introducing that first Pokemon game, and I thought it was just so fucking awesome. Um, but the second generation, I mean, they do improve on a few of the things. Like, for example, Earthquake will hit a Pokemon that's using Dig. Um, like that, stuff like that. Um, like, you can use HMs outside of the fuck. Fuck me, I did it twice. There's something about that that just makes me want to walk into that tree. Even though he's, like, I know he's there. I, th I thought I could walk right down and then go down to the water. And I think that's why I did it in both fucking runs. It's pretty sad that I fucking hit him, but you can ice punish on through a one hit KO. It's just, it's just a one hit. It's just one Pokemon that he has. It's not like it's a death. It's not like he's got four or five Pokemon to deal with or some shit. But I, there's, something, there's something about that that just makes me feel like I could just go right and then go down. Because I'm trying to get to the water. It's like one more space away, you would have been to the water. And you need to go down to the water to skip this trainer like that. And that's why I, was, I think that's why I fucking ran into that trainer on accident there both times. It's because I felt like I wanted to go right so I can go down to the water. But it, it didn't work out either time. And so here you want to go up and go up there. But we are getting pretty fucking close to the, elite, the victory road in the Indigo Plateau, which has got that Elite Four left to go. You're gonna have to fight this guy. I'm trying to, you know, make sure I don't run into any unnecessary Pokemon ba uh, trainer battles as well. Um, pretty fucking, I'm pretty ha fucking happy with this run. It's being a single segment run, like from start to finish, you know, fucking around. I thought it went pretty goddamn well. Like, yeah, I messed up, and yeah, I kind of was bitchy there when I messed up. <laughs> I really do hate to make mistakes when, like, I know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> like, I know, I know the, all the mechanics, and I know what the fuck is in this game. I know what the fuck I'm doing. And here, we, I'm going to take the free heal, what the fuck. I don't even think I, that was kind of useless to take this rest, but I'll take it anyway. Just because it, it's a lot faster than Pokemon Center, and I don't really mind it. And here we got a spinner here, we can go around the Yep, fuck you, bitch. You gotta fight this guy. I, 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 me getting around that spinner right there made, made me happy enough of this, you know, single segment. Like, the fact that I'm not fucking saving and I'm not going back and trying again and again and again. This is one fucking run through. Like, no chances are like, I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, can't really complain too much with all the, the spinners that I've missed and all the things that have gone right in this run and the fact that it's not like I've never, I've never passed out, I've never KO'd, I've never got knocked out. Um... There's a lot of things that are fucking going excellent in this run that I can describe. And we are getting fucking so close to the end. Because all you got left is, I mean, there's a few trainers here. And then you get to the Vic, the final dungeon or cave, you know, whatever, before the Elite Four. And then we just have to fight the Elite Four and then save, you know, see what the fucking uh, final time is of this single segment run. It's a fucking... Great fucking, great fucking run. Now, I mean, the thing is, people can do fucking, you know, 10 or 20 segment runs, or, you know, on the Speed Demos Archive, I see a lot of, um, like, 40, 50 segment runs, which, I mean, where's the fucking skill in that when you're just fucking, um, you know, fucking uh, using emulator save states and shit and saving all every five minutes to make sure you're doing everything perfectly. Like, where's the skill in that? Like, just fucking play the goddamn run through and see what you get. And, you know, that's what I'm saying. That's why I kept going, and that's why, like, I didn't stop, even though I know I made some mistakes that pissed me off. Like, I kept going and fucking... I got one single segment, you know, fucking run, and that's... That's what you want to do, motherfuckers. Because when you're saving and your speed runs and shit, and coming back to him and shit, you're not, um, 
you're not being competitive, you're not being, you know, it's not it's very challenging to save and keep playing and shit, it's not hard to use save states and tool, uh, whatever, those tool assists and fucking all that shit, it's garbage, I mean, if you want to play a fucking, like, me, just play authentic, I'm giving you authentic fucking, like, I'm manning this shit, like, I'm fucking, like, you could do this on the console yourself, it's like, it's not like, it's hard or anything, you just gotta, like, I mean, the, the thing is, I mean, during the single set that runs, it's kind of like, you gotta make sure everything's good, like, you gotta make sure, you know, you're hydrated, you gotta make sure you had a good meal or whatever, and, like, you probably want to take a shit before, I'm saying it right now, you gotta probably want to take a shit before you do a run, because, um, you don't want to be sitting there wanting to take a shit for two hours or whatnot, and stuff like that. I think I need a super repel. It's, it's an early effect, waste of time. But yeah, see, I knew, I knew it was going to run out soon. Yeah, I thought it had already run out, but... This is the fucking final shit. So fucking easy here. And bam, you're done. Like, that's it. You go around here, go to the left. We, we need an earthquake, we're gonna teach that, we're gonna get it, we're gonna grab earthquake now. I, I'm gonna go ahead and teach that shit right away. I'm not even gonna fuck around. I like earthquake so much. It's a great earthquake is such a great move. And we're gonna replace that for a headbutt. We have slash, surf, ice punch, and headbutt, that's my final. That's those are the four elite moves, that's the fucking best four moves you can have, period. I mean, you can have strength instead of slash, so that you don't need Sandshrew or whatever the fuck, and you can use Bellsprout, but... I mean, you would rather have slash, because you get 20 instead of 15. Uh, slash is just a great, great move, fucking... I love slash, and I love Earthquake, and... Ice Punch is not as great as Ice Beam, but you get 15 Ice Punches as opposed to 10 Ice Punches beam, so I mean, it, th there again, like, you can, you can have a debate on which move is better, you know, ice punch or ice beam or, you know, um, slash or, um, headbutt, you know, you can tell, you can have a debate on those moves, which is better. I mean, the reason why headbutt would defeat slash is because, uh, you would get flinches and whatnot. That was fucking stupid. That was stupid. I used, I should have used, um, but I do have paralyzed heels ready to roll. Where are they? <laughs> Where's my paralyzed heels? Fucking some, uh, I have not finished the run yet. I need to stop fucking um, bragging and shit. But it is a pretty damn good fucking single segment run. Uh, earthquake there probably. You might, might want to use that to make sure you get the one hit KO. Fucking ice punch is absolutely garbage. <clears throat> See if we can. Yep. He got poison powder in, which was, it did not even affect me, so. Laughing at his fucking Magnium right, right there. Which was his only. I mean, Magnium was really his only fucking Pokemon that could have possibly even. possibly killed me. We try surfing one hit KO. It might not one hit KO, but it'll negate the super effective screen. Had I have won, fuck me, man. You gotta refuse Ray in. And now we're gonna get hurt by confusion a little bit. Which sucks, but, um. To take out this gold battle, we're pretty much good. Got a Haunter there, we're gonna surf his ass, uh, confuse no more. You know, I, I will go to the Pokemon Center before the Elite Four, that's the only thing left is the Elite Four. I mean, I think you people understand, like, I fucking, like, predetermined this shit, like, I already knew that this is gonna fucking go pretty damn well. I mean, only, it, there was a few things that just, probably because I was talking while I was playing, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm talking while I'm playing. Like, that's probably why I made the mistakes I did, so I mean, you can't really, you can't really just sit there and say, well, fuck, man, like, you just shut your fucking mouth and just play the damn game, well, fuck, like, um, the game's kind of boring, you might as well talk over it, fuck. 
Uh, here we go. We get fucking final Pokemon Center of the Johto region here. It's the final fucking shit. We never need to go to the Pokemart. Uh, I'm gonna get uh, Hyper Potions as well as uh, Full Restores and Full Restores and then uh, fucking uh, Revives. So we'll get 11 Revives like just in case I die. It's kind of a waste of time, but we'll get it anyway. And Fuck, uh, I'm gonna get like 10 hyper, or uh, like that much. And then the rest, you be all in four stores. There you go. And we head right on fucking in to the Elite Four. And the same that we're gonna, we're gonna finish up this single segment when you do some credits. The credits are coming. We had an introduction scene at the beginning of this video, so there's gonna be an intro with credits and all. Uh, fuck, I just love. I'm just ecstatic. There's so many good things here going on. Oh, here we got. So here's what. Here's what you want to do with this one. And now that since I have it and we have the right materials here, you're gonna want to get an X special in here. The reason why you use that X special, and fuck that confused Ray, but is it so that your surfs. Your surfs will now one hit kill these Zatsus. They should. And that will negate the super effective screen from coming up. So, even though it took a little bit of time to get the X special in there, you will see that it, by the end of it, it will be faster because of the fucking, um. Because of the fucking, um. Not, not having to watch the super effective screens for Zatu. And that's. The strats there, and that's where we'll speed things up for this first battle with Will. We'll slash on through his ass. Slash should be no fucking. Slash should be devastating. It should kill him right here, but we were hurt by confusing there. The fucking sidekicks are they are pretty big. They're heavy. <clears throat> A double slap. You got two hits in. Confuse no more, baby. And we'll finish out Will. Defeat him. Fuck, does he survive? Holy fuck! He killed me! Fuck me, this is bad. Anyway, I'm about to make use of a revive. We did get him. Fuck. I saw Western Lobe. He did not buy any revives, which was pretty ballsy. And, um, for me, for this being a single segment run, like, I'm not like, fuck, I would lose it all right there if I would not have those revives, and that's what those revives are for right there. I could have lost the entire fucking single segment run right there. Earthquake might have fucking one hit KO Jinx. But, uh, that, there goes that fucking shit there. We got a slow bro here. We can try Earthquake and Slash. We'll try to, we'll try to get a critical hit in here. And, um, we can finally take out Slowbro there. Just trying to think of what his Lapras ha does he have. No, he has Zapti, right? So we'll just surf on through the final Pokemon here. <laughs> and then, I mean, this should one hit KO. I'm hoping. Fuck, it did not. Fuck. Fuck. That's horrible. Horrible way to wrap up my fucking uh, single segment here. But uh, we'll get a second revive in here and then we'll take out Zatu and then we'll use a hyper potion at the end of the battle. It's not, not going perfect here. I'm gonna see, let's see here. I'm gonna switch back to I to L. Holy fuck, is this. Being a fucking bitch here at the end here. I expected this to be a lot better. I expected the fucking um, Elite Four battle to go so much better. I mean, he, he should be a one hit kill no matter what. And that Ice Punch didn't even fucking kill him. Oh my goodness. Fucking new dude. He got the quick attack here and the fucking make me use another revive. I've used three fucking revives here. Holy fuck, is this a shitty ending? <laughs> it's a great, great run, but shitty ending, huh? 
Well, if I can just fucking, if I can just fucking take out this Zatu here. And he took out my Poliwag. See, I, I'm running out of fucking backup in case I do get one hit KO'd again. Like fucking stupid shit there. I should, I should have easily, easily took out Will. Easily. Like that slash being critical hit would have fucking KO'd him there. And now we're giving him KO to Kenya. Fuck, man, just some horrible shit. Horrible fucking shit there. You're probably gonna get a lot. It's probably gonna go a lot easier for you on your ones, because that was a fucking horrible will. I mean, I lost two of my bench Pokemon. I had to use three revives. <laughs> Whew. Ugly. But three more members of the Elite Four. Then we have Lance, and then that we'll see what the final time. I'm thinking. I'm thinking that my final time is somewhere. It's probably going to be three hours. You know, fuck. I mean, you do a world, a world, fucking uh, record speed run would be like two, two hours and thirty-five minutes, or two hours and thirty some minutes would be the, the world, the world record speed run at this point in time. But uh, this is a cut. This was a fucking a single segment fucking uh, run with commentary, like. For bonus and shit, and this is kind of a test run, and it went excellent. And you can fucking study off of this shit and get some pretty damn good runs off of just watching this fucking shit and watching these, these skills here. <sighs> I got badly poisoned there. We got a antidotes on standby, ready to roll. Fucking, I, I should not fucking have too many more problems coming up. I can't believe how bad that battle with Will went either. Waste my time. And we cured the pollen poison there and it's protected. So if you would have protected anyway and fucking so it's all good there. You get that surf in, it did not kill him, and get spikes in and fucking spikes are not gonna do anything. He didn't use protect protect there either, so it's not like so I mean this battle could have gone worse is what I'm trying to say. It's going pretty well. And try to get a two hit KO surf on him. It should, it should be a two-hit deal. It says defense went up and special attack has nothing to do with defense again. I'm telling you here in the second generation as well. Uh, this is, yeah, we're fighting Koga right now and Koga is no longer, um, Koga is no longer a gym member in the Kanto region. He has gained some wisdom and knowledge and he has gone, he has improved himself and become an Elite Four member here. And he is the second elite member, elite four member of the Johto region. We are fucking, I mean, after that, you got two more elite members, and then Lance, and that will fucking so, wrap up my fucking gold boot speed run, which was fucking, aside from the mistakes that I made, it was pretty damn good. And being a single segment run, like, I'd like to see, I'd like to see you bitch, I, I, I'm going to say it right now, I'd like to see you bitches play this game one fucking run through without fucking saving, without fucking the bullet, and try to get a solid time with one single run, and try to beat this, and fucking, on top of that, try to fucking supply commentary, fucking, on, you know what I'm saying, like, try that shit, bitches, like, it's not, it's not easy to do, it's not easy to do what the fuck I'm doing here, but, I mean, it, 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 the second generation, it was kind of easier than the first, it, it was a bit longer than the first, Generation of Pokemon, but it was easier, I would say. <coughs> as far as like, like the mechanics and the things that were added into this. And here, you get to see Earthquake do damage while the other, while the opponent is digging, and that is a fucking second generation add-on. It's the fucking one of the best things of the second generation was that they added that Earthquake can hit the sort uh, of Earthquake can hit. Motherfuckers that are digging and get a critical hit to one hit KO that hit Monshan. That was fucking. That was a um, fucking some premier shit. And here we got the hit on me. He's probably gonna take two serves. Fuck it. Um. I'm a, since since I have that other and we're still rolling. I'm gonna use that other to fucking uh, restore the serves and. I, I used more serves than I needed to use, but 
uh, fucking after this, I mean, we only got fucking two more, two more fucking battles left, and we've beaten the entire game in a fucking, <laughs> in a fucking run where I've supplied commentary and shit over him. So we're gonna Earthquake, I think Earthquake will kill him. I'm pretty sure it will. Ah, oh, fuck, 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 cross chop. We are playing on the fucking edge. Well, I, I think I have a point. I have a scheme here. I can use those. I can use those revives to revive the bench Pokemon, and then I'll have more revives to use for the final. So, even though that's, that's going to take a few fucking turns as well, um, I think that would be better in the long run. Let's get a hyper potion. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna play safe. I, mean, I was I was fucking playing risky and stupid there. Cause I should I should never have fucking you should not be dying. You should not be fainting in a speed run. It's fucking not not rolling deep, but because it's a single segment run and because it's all fucking in one shit, I think it's fucking beautiful. The fact that I can beat the whole entire game in one fucking sexy run. <clears throat> He gets a cross chop in, he gets the second earthquake in, he's gonna survive it, and... I hope he doesn't use another max potion. I don't think he has any more max potion. I don't think it's possible, but... I, that would suck to have him use another max potion there. And then we have, um... An onyx, which... I'm out of, um... A lot of things, but I think Ice Punch will super effective one hit KO. I'm pretty sure it will. And... I gotta do a few things before going to the fourth and final Elite Four member. And then after the Elite Four, we got Lance. And the credits. The credits are gonna roll, baby. The credits are gonna roll, baby. But, um. Fucking, um. Get the Hyper Potion. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna revive some bench Pokemon in case in case I do die again. That was fucking. I, I'm a fucking. That's so new right there. But. Just the fact that I might die. And if I die, like. Losing the, in a, a single segment run, like, that means I'd have to do the entire fucking run, and being at the end here, like, why would I fucking want to redo an entire fucking segment run? Like, this is a pretty damn good run, and I'm ready to fucking air and shit. But, um, we're gonna restore those surfs, we're gonna go fight the fourth and final Elite Four member, Karen, here. She has Dark Type Element Pokemon, the addition of Dark Type Elements in the second generation Pokemon was so badass for words I can't even fucking describe, like, them throwing in Dark Type Pokemon, period, was fucking so kick-ass. You try Earthquakes for his ass, you see what it does. I'll flip over to... S we'll see if we can get a fucking, um... Super effective here. He got Sand Attack in. What I'm gonna do... Is switch out Pokemon and let him kill... That Pokemon. And what that will do is so that the Sand Attack... I won't be missing all my fucking shit with Sand Attack if I switch out here. And I, it's a, I would advise to do that if he does get Sand Attack in because... Sand Attack is a real bitch. Because, like, I could miss. Like, first of all, I'm confused, and then I could miss on top of it with the sand attack in. Like, fuck that shit. And if you switch out, you will no longer be confused. That's another thing. If you ever get confused, you can switch out Pokemon, and you'll no longer be confused when you get back. So, I mean, the reason why I'm doing that is get rid of sand attack and confuse. It's a two-for-one bonus there. <sighs> fuck, I probably should use uh, Hyper... With the hyper potion there while I had the chance, but whatever. I mean, I don't think I need it. But yeah, he's getting high. He's getting a uh, pedal dances in, which pedal dances are super effective, and he's pretty devastating here. Hopefully, he doesn't kill me. I survive it. I'm gonna survive it. I'm gonna survive. Yep, and I'm gonna kill him. After Karen here, we will fucking. All we have left is Lance, and then I'll fucking, um, explain my fucking, uh, I'll plot my schemes with you after that of what the other runs I'm gonna be doing, what other speedruns I'm gonna be doing, and what plans I have for later. He fucking cut my, um, surfs down, that sucks, cause 
I wanted those surfs, but fuck them. We got two more Pokemon here. These are both. These should both be one-hit KOs, if I am correct. These should both be easy one-hit KOs. And then we just have Lance, and I mean, <laughs> that was a complete. That's a complete game sec, uh, speed run for you. That's what it looks like. That's what a competitive run looks like. That's what um, if you're gonna do a world record speed run, it's gonna have to be in one segment for it to be, you know, authentic. And because if you, I mean, on the speed de demos archive, like you'll see a bunch of runs that have a bunch of video segments. When basically, what's happening there is they're saving every five minutes and making sure that they get everything perfect and I mean there's nothing wrong with that it's just like there's no skill in that and by the end of the day I mean this is this had all skill I, mean, I showed you from start to be start to finish there fucking how to play this game what you need to do how to get the eight badges fucking the fastest way to do it and I, I, mean, I showed you so much shit you can fucking replay this so many times and just get so much shit out of it and improve all your speed runs and I, mean, I hope to see other people do um, second generation Pokemon runs. I you know I like to see them too. I'd like to see commentary as well with them too, and I'd like to see I'd like to see single segments and authentic runs without saves and without tool assists and all that shit. Here we go, the final battle of the fucking single segment run. Fucking finally, we're gonna finally wrap everything up. Uh, you know, I'll explain all the shit and. That's another reason why Slash there is so goddamn good, because you saw Gyarados is a nice, easy two-hit kill with Slash. I mean, you're not going to get that anywhere else. You're not going to get that with Strength. You're not going to get that with Headbutt. It's a Slash exclusive there. The Dragonites are fucking easy, easy Ice Punch one-hit K. That's why this game, the Elite Four, is fucking so much easier in the second generation than the first generation. The first generation, you had Gary, and he had, you know, some bulk to him, and also Lance was a bit more challenging than this. This, you get, like, three ice punches to get the Dragonites, so fucking Gyarados is a lot weaker. And he doesn't have much else that can be a threat, even. I mean, that's one of the reasons why the speedruns is so easy, and see, uh, this is why they're good for single segments in the second generation Pokemon, that's why... This is a good game to speedrun. It's because um, the Elite Four is not over it's not over straining. And there he throws his ass solid, just to rub it in. Uh, he gets a uh, full restore in. I think two slashes will kill him, and that way we will have to see the super effective text box and speed up there a little bit. No, it won't, but Ice Punch will kill him now. He's got two to three more, I think he's got three more Pokemon. We'll take all of them out, and then um, that will fucking wrap up this masterpiece. Gold Loot Speedrun. Fucking genius. Uh, surf here. So I'm saying, I, I, I did complain. I did complain on a few mistakes I made, but fuck it, man. Like, this being a single segment, I'd like to see you bitch boys. I'd like to see you bitch ass gamers fucking try this shit. I mean, it's definitely. It's not. This really isn't even too hard, really. Fucking, um. The second, uh, the second generation of Pokemon is pretty laid out there for you. Like, you get all your shit pretty easy, and it's good to go. And that was the final Pokemon. Level 55, final level. Fucking light that shit up, smoke that shit. Fuck. Now, um, you go through more texts. I mean, that's pretty much one of the most annoying parts of this game is the text. I mean, other than that, you get some solid gameplay. You get some good Pokemon battles in. I mean, that was pretty fucking beautiful there. The Gold Boot Speedrun. This is Green Leaf. Stay, stay fucking watching my shit. Stay subscribed. I hope you guys like um, what I have to offer here. I, I know I rambled a lot, but fuck it. Like, like me being able to ramble and do this at the same time just kind of shows you just how much skill I have and... You know, just how fucking easy, you know, it really wasn't challenging at all for me. The only times I messed up was when I was, when I was talking, and I, I kind of spaced out there, and I kind of let that get over, and I didn't execute the per, you know, I didn't execute to perfection, but goddamn, is this a good single segment run, like, for you to just pick it up and play and beat it, like, that was fucking beautiful. 
So um, you get you get a save in there. So there was my for alligator level five. I named him L for loot. Abbreviation L for loot. Gold loot speed run. He was sand true. Used him for cut and strength. He was fucking perfect for me. And Kenya, he'll you'll pick him up for fly. He's a stock Pokemon there, and then you get a uh, Poliwag for Whirlpool and fucking a Waterfall. And that's all you need. That's all the four Pokemon you need for the second series. 303, kind of shit, but you really just try. You try yourself to do a single fucking se segment run under three hours. Good fucking luck. I saw fucking uh, Westerlobe. He had some hot shit. It was he got it in like three, uh, two hours and thirty-five minutes, two thirty-five. And I'm, I'm pretty sure he did do a single segment run, but he, he definitely wasn't ram uh, talking as much. He wasn't rambling as much as me. He had a British accent. He's pretty good there. Um, I'm definitely giving a shout out to Western Love. He's a fucking a damn good player. But other than that, uh, you got Superman and a few other players. But there's really not too many other people. Than it. I mean. Green Leaf, myself, you get you get this, you get the commentary with the fucking like play-by-play -play action there. It's fucking genius, and I hope you guys stay tuned. I, I hope you guys keep watching. I, I hope you guys are enjoying, you know, my output of shit. And a uh, fucking, uh, I, I got the um, we're gonna finish up the the joke, the Kanto region, the Gold Boot Kanto region. That's gonna be part two, and then I'll also do the PP up uh, tutorial. Like I have been doing recently, because everyone wants to know the PP ups are located and shit. So we'll show that, and then after that we'll get on moving to the Crystal Meth speedrun. And after the, you know, after I fucking uh, dominate the Crystal Meth speedrun, we will fucking um. The only thing left that that's that will wrap up my second generation of Pokemon speedruns. I will move on to the third, fourth, and fifth generations of Pokemon. Do all those speedruns. This fucking keep on. I, I am fucking down to fucking just, just destroy these Pokemon games and beat them quickly. But I'm um, fucking um. Hope you guys liked it. Um, there's more runs to come. Stay tuned to Greenleaf. Subscribe. You know whatever the fuck. It's time to s smoke a bowl to that one. That was fucking genius. Peace out, guys.